and tweets. Tweeting out. Tweet is out. I gotta put a tweet. There it is. I did the tweet. There it is. I released the bird. Release the kraken. Get out there. Go on. Be free. <laughs> Go out, Get out there, you stupid somebody. bird. Just Go on. Get out. We're all very attached to this bird. <laughs> Even though we hate this bird. It's a love-hate relationship with this blue bird. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Twitter like, go out and say that it's not a bird, which is the most absurd thing I've ever heard? What? What? I don't I remember. What the hell is it supposed to be? Right? Uh, Wait, what else? No, what, are they, what, are they, what, are they, what do they say they were? It's Twitter. That's just, I'm like, what? It's Twitter. <laughs> it's Twitter. Whoa. Hello, it is me, original the bird, do not steal Twitter. <laughs> oh no! no. This, this, like, this, this wrong, abstract though. shape, it is just the Twitter. Mm. Like Jake has poured his coffee on the computer screen and we made a picture out of it. <laughs> what, what, what banana duct tape to a wall bullshit is this? God. I don't know, dude, it's weird. I'm not sure I believe them. Oh, my lordy. Oh, you're lurdy. Do you guys like our overlay made by Citric King, the best orange ever of all time? It is fantabulous. Oh, I need. I want to. I want to see. It I is see. spooky. It's pretty. It's pretty legit. I love the alley that is Yo. entirely filled up by a Yo. tip glass. <laughs> it's spooky really good. tip glass. Oh man, I'm so scared. I am so fear. I'm so Hi, chat. One not fear. Afraid, friends. Oh my goodness. Do not be afeard. Do not be afeard. I am here. Oh god. Hey, Tabuya. Oh, I'm doing me a fluster. Oh. <laughs> doing you a fluster? God, it feels, I have to say, waking up yesterday, I was just like, I don't have to work on Prince Division. Huh. <laughs> like, just like, it was a very weird feeling. Yeah, what's it feel like <laughs> to be free, Monty? I'm not free. I'm on a break. I, it's mm. like, it's kind of like, you know, that picture of Jean Valjean when he's like looking into the, like, the house through the window? It's kind of <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> at the first. Yeah. Like, that's how it feels at first whenever I'm on a break. Cause I'm just like, I want to do the thing. But it's just like, but then like, I'm thinking about all the stuff I can do. And I'm just like, this is necessary. <laughs> <laughs> I need to do this. Oh man. Nia's asking me if I'm ready to die. Uh yeah, sure. You better get ready. <laughs> yeah. Right. So start. If if I'm not ready now, then say, say your hellos now while you can. Hmm. For soon the time of closing the chat. Oh, oh, hi probate. Hi probate. Oh. Hi, probate. <laughs> oh. That's new. Sweet. We can hire a mortician. <laughs> I can't say oh. I'm surprised there are no humans here. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, well, how dare I'm, you hey, hey guys, my ladies race. and gentlemen, welcome to Ravenloft. Oops, all furries. How dare <laughs> not you? Not really. Race. <laughs> Unfair, guys. I will it's really funny because be none of us knew what each other guys. was doing it, it yeah. and uh, completely independent of it. Yeah, oh, we all do this very independently. I was almost going to do happened. a Warforge, but then I was like, I'm, I'm Dino Man. I gotta. I well, gotta, unfortunately, uh, Bosco told me that, uh, yo, you could use homebrew. And I'm like, you fucking idiot. You idiot. Oh. I can't believe you. <laughs> you, you absolutely did this. It was I can't that believe you've done this. Realized he fucked up. Oh, my Lord. So, I look, I may have made a slight miscalculation by letting Zito in here, but you know what? That's fine. I mean, Zito you could have just be happy. I'll be miserable scaling for it, but at least Zito yo, will be. Yo, happy. listen, you could. I gave you the opportunity multiple nope, times. No, I want to. I want to see what the down. great Christopher Zito has up his sleeve. I am prepared to be absolutely embarrassed. I trust me, dude. Mm. I, I I would be embarrassed if I did floor this. I would actually like just rip my book out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I I trust um, you, and I want to. This is a great play test for you. Yeah. yeah. Um. I guess everyone should be introducing themselves. Should we? Yeah. Connor, why don't you why don't you run the show? This is kind of your uh, your shtick. Okay. Well, uh, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, I got a few things to plug here. Uh, for starters, uh, we just hit our uh, September subathon goal for Dead House Sonata. Hey, uh, with nice. Two hundred twenty new subscribers. Nice. Uh, so. 
I think that adds up to 15 Founders Packs, but we're still going to keep going for four more days. So if you want to get your, your subs in for the chance at even more uh, Founders Packs for Dead House Sonata over at twitch.tv slash Dead House Sonata, then please feel free to drop by and support not only myself, but as well uh, twitch.tv slash Varric Khaldun, Sailor Midgard, Faceless Mike, Calypso694, and Gaia Green for more chances to win a Founders Pack for Dead House Sonata, uh, which is a game that I've been uh, partnered with for a long time now, a couple of months uh, at this point. Um, something that I believe highly in. Uh, it's a spiritual successor to one of my favorite games of all time, uh, Legacy of Cain. And I really think you should check it out. Uh, go to the forums, join the Discord, see if it's uh, worth your time. And being developed by, of course, uh, the one and only Dennis Dyack. He's absolute pillar. He's amazing. Uh, uh, very kind, very smart. Uh, and it's just, uh, it's a pleasure to be able to work with him. Uh, the second thing, and I don't usually, I don't normally do this all that often, uh, but, um, and I hope you're watching, you know who you are, uh, someone reached out to me on Twitter, um, uh, it seems that their <clears throat> son, uh, really enjoys the Unexpectables, and today is his birthday, so I'd like oh. to say a very special happy birthday to Waylon. What's up, Waylon? Hey, Waylon? Happy birthday! Hey, Waylon, hey. what's going on? Happy Wayland, birthday, if dude. If you're watching, happy birthday, dude. Uh, and I think you should tell your very kind and supporting mother to uh, send me your shirt size. Ooh. Hey! If you want to become an official member of the Sweet Dragon. Yo. That's what's up. And that's all I got. Okay. Well, I'll just take over then, because dead air makes me nervous. <laughs> no, that's well, fine. Go ahead, Mark. <laughs> my name is Mark Allen Jr. You can find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. And here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. That's A-E-O-N Pro Tech Gaming. Uh, we have uh, some pretty exciting things coming up in the next couple of weeks. I have a few uh, anime cast announcements that should be coming up pretty soon. Can't wait to share that with everybody. And also... For the maybe not for the month of October, but at some point in October, I will be playing the 2018 game of Call of Cthulhu on stream here Ooh. on Twitch because mm. I am a girly baby man who loves horror <laughs> games but will absolutely scream like a girly baby man during this game. Uh, I don't have an exact date for that yet, but keep an eye out. I will absolutely announce that on Twitter when I know for sure when I'm going to do that, and it'll be fun. You can all come and point and laugh at me and... I'll cry. It'll be a great bonding experience for all of us. So, <laughs> funny man gets scared. <laughs> funny bad man goes scared. I love scared. it when the funny man scream. Now comes the part when we all throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> so, why don't we kick this over to Monty? Hi. I'm not running the game, and I feel weird. But wait, you're running? Oh, you're not writing the intro? I'm not, no, I'm not running the game. <laughs> I'm not DMing. Who am I? Who have I become? <laughs> what have I become? No. Uh, <laughs> my sweetest friend. Uh, you can find Why me did at you go to hurt? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> We've gone over many songs. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, next... This coming Wednesday is going to be the um, Unexpectables, and then after that, I have a month off, so I'm going to be being an actual living human being, and it's going to be very weird, and I have to get used to it, um, but I'm going to have a month off, so you'll probably see me posting updates about I'm working on a costume head, uh, as well as some other, some other things, but I will be streaming regularly. Um, this coming Sunday, we have more Final Fantasy IX. I've been loving the stream. It's been so much fun. Um, you can catch all the parts on YouTube, but we will be back doing that on, uh, tomorrow. I keep forgetting today, Saturday. Um, and then on Thursday, it's been two weeks and I haven't gotten to it. Devil May Cry 4. It's going to happen, I swear. I just, things keep happening around me. So it's I, I gonna promise happen. it's going to happen at some point. We're going to go on baby easy mode so I don't get angry at cameras. <laughs> <laughs> 
Noise. That's, that's it. For uh, me. That is it for you. Hey, uh, hey, Zito. Oh God, hi. Yeah, what up? How you feeling? I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite scared right now because I'm. Why playing you scared? We ain't even started I'm, yet, bro. I'm so, I'm so scared because the people can find me over at twitchtv slash Zito <laughs> where they can watch me play scared games. <laughs> oh no! That's, and that's where I the know. murderer can find you too over at oh, twitchtv. Oh, can find you on there. <laughs> oh god, you can find me playing Seven Days to Die, which is stupid addicting, and I'm gonna be playing that tomorrow. Actually, start that off. Uh, you can find me playing other weird, stupid indie games that are also going to be scurry or slashery kind of things like Ultra Kill and Post Void. Ooh. And then, of course, Golden Light, as Monty can attest, that's a pretty good game for Spook. That one's neat, yeah. I really need to play that with my friend Darcy. I think she'd really find that interesting. Uh, so you can catch me doing that alongside the occasional, like, oh, right, I have commissions to do, art stream, or... Zito, you have a comic to fucking do art stream, or I just don't give a fuck and I want to draw art stream. Uh, and on the Ever Inked Almanac, you can find most of the stuff that I either draw or don't post online there. Uh, we have switched gears from the Hanu, and now we're moving over to plant people because who the fuck doesn't want to play as a plant person? Monty, don't answer that. You can find it. Over <laughs> <laughs> Monty, uh, you did not. Half half transparent images of scut in the back of my mind like mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh i am working on recreating the pharaoh which is like just plant people they were just cactus folk but then i'm like nah that's too vague and dumb and stupid why don't we make it even bigger dumber and stupider so we're gonna get plant people soon and i'll have a play test build of that fairly soon i can't wait to build my plant sona Get your fucking jokes out now, dude. Go ahead. <laughs> do it. Who's joking? I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, I cannot get ready to get my succulent. Zito, uh, roll an attack roll on Mark, please. <laughs> ah, excellent. Hold on. That's no, 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 no. You're good. He, di he dies. He dies. Great. Oh, cool. Excellent. Yeah, he oh, dies. God. First, first death, it. everybody. All Seeing you do that, Bosco, makes me sit here feeling so powerless. Is this how it feels? <laughs> yes. Yes, it, yes, you've it done is. this weird. Remember Shadow War when you did blood magic? Yeah. <laughs> Pepperidge Farms, remember? Sorry, were you done, Dino? I didn't mean to interrupt. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I literally was just gonna say like that. That was pretty much what I was gonna do. I was gonna make a joke about succulents, but you know, that's that's it. Nice, excellent. Thank and you. Thank like you. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. He'll be here all week, which is what we're worried about. So moving on, we have a new player at the table, somebody who's never been on the channel before. They've been very quiet because they're very nervous. So I want you to all make them feel very, very welcome and welcome the very lovely Theropod. Uh, oh, I just looked at the view count. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you do Don't that? Don't do that. Get off. Yeah, yeah. Close it out. Closed. Don't even it's look at it. It's gone now. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. okay. So, so Hi, everybody. take a deep breath. <laughs> <sighs> I'm Why don't good. you tell I'm the folks good. about you? Hi, everybody. I'm Theropod Art. Uh, I'm, I guess you could describe me as a variety artist. I tend to draw lots of dinosaurs and D&D stuff. Also, a lot of Unexpectables and Prince Division art. Uh, I think the last things I drew were the uh, Kobe. I drew Kobe, and I drew that porcelain gnome. <laughs> that was not fun. I, but I feel like it needed to exist. Um, and yeah, uh, you can find me at um, on Twitter at Theropod underscore art. And um, I'm also on Twitch at just Theropod art, no underscore there. And um, yeah, you can just catch me just doing art streams. And my Twitter is just full of just like pictures of my pet lizard beanbag and me craving cheese at like 3 a.m. in the night because I just become a different creature at 2 a.m. And, and you desperately mm -hmm. wishing that beanbag would notice you. Oh God! I'm so soon he's, there. I am sorry. He he he'll do this thing every morning now, where like I'll feed him, but first he's got to wiggle at me. Your mastics will do this like wiggle dance, which means they're they're like trying to show how threatening they are, and it's it's just cute. It, it, all it is is just cute. Scare but it, me. but ba yeah, ba basically you're saying like fuck you. I'm I'm the scary big lizard, and it's like no, you're not. Just stop. Just take just take the salad, please. Just take take the salad. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> I also just have a quick little shout out to um, you all should know her in chat. Um, Shahalem, I'm I'm sort of in a kindness war with her right now. Shahalem Froggy's mom. She's a mod in our chat and just all around good person. She's a yeah. beacon of light and pillar for this community. Um, she's going through a bit of a rough patch right now, so I just want 
everybody in chat, if you can, just throw some support her way, throw some love her way. She, she's she's a lovely human being that needs. I, I wish I didn't crack my knuckles already because I would have cracked my knuckles on the mic. It just went kindness war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it, it's it's that thing where like you know I gift art and it's like I gotta pay you for this art. It's like no, it's gift art. Take the gift and it's it's, it's, mm. it's just the. <laughs> but yeah, she mm. really loves Froggy's mom. Also runs the wiki with a bunch of other lovely people that yeah. contribute yeah. So, for the unexpectables. Love you and thinking about you and supporting you. Just you, you got this. E. All right. Excellent. Heck yeah, Connor. Do you want to? Do you want to read off some bits? Uh, absolutely. I have the dashboard open right here. Do it. I appreciate you. Uh, all right. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna go over here and. What I happened? can't believe it deleted all of the. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, guys, oh, I, I can't, can't believe it's all it just, gone. It just deleted the last five minutes of the thing. Uh, oh, you know, Connor. Oh God, you know, I talked to you about this. Where is it for serious though? Uh oh. oh <laughs> See, we out here making fun of people, and we done messed up already. <laughs> Quick vamp oh. for me. Get it together. Also, yeah, yeah. To. I will I will say this because a lot of people are asking. Yes, there is going to be a podcast version of this up on our podcast Woo! feed. Uh, and yes, this is going to be uploaded to YouTube as well. So it's all Woo! being all of this is the same as everything else. It's all going to be put up on YouTube. It's all going to be on the podcast. Everyone's going to have access to it. But Monty, so. is it going to be up on MySpace? <sighs> what about Friendster? Uh, and you wonder why Mark. I killed him earlier. Mark. <laughs> I just need to know. Mark. <laughs> Am I going to be able to buy a tape cassette Booby, version? Booby, sweetie, the sugar -la. I need you to, wanna, I need I you to wanna, calm down. I just want to support. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to <laughs> smash that. Hit that bell icon. What? Don't forget to smash that bell icon. like button. Beep the And we'll see you next like week. Subscribe button. Links uh, in the doobly-doo. All right. My brain just went to the worst <laughs> place ever, and I don't want to say. All right. <laughs> uh, starting things off, we've got Zen Killer Spy. You have to get a tier one sub to Cinecat Monster. Thank you so much for that. Glacerius has resubbed for six whole months. Spooky darkness and potential death. Oh my! <laughs> Screwy Drew uh, resubbed with Twitch Prime for three months. DRK Ganon has resubbed for six months with Twitch Prime. Good luck tonight in Ravenloft. May your characters not die too much. Mm. Oh. Uh, nom nom just, gablin just get really bad boo-boos <laughs> nom nom gablin has resubbed for five months yay spooky time i hope that doesn't spoil much of curse of strahd for me mm. i will i can address that real quick so i'm using characters and stuff from the universe so it's like the expanded universe of Marvel. Just because I mentioned spider-man or iron man doesn't necessarily mean it's going to spoil the movie for you however if you've never played Curse of Strahd, you might not even know who these people are. But then when they come up in your campaign, you'll be like, wait, that guy was mentioned. I kind of know something about that, but don't meta it. But yeah, we're going to try to stay away from spoilers, which is why I'm not just running the straight module, because I don't want to ruin it for like a thousand people. And also mm. I've played it, so. Also, well, she's played only the first part of it, but I also I know you want to finish it, so I don't want to like not finish it for you. I don't know if I'll ever get that chance, but one day maybe hopefully. Well, I don't have, if you give me 30 sessions, I'll run it for you. <laughs> Jeez. Because that's about tempt, what it takes. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me now. I'll do it. You pick a day. Let's do it. I'll run you through the whole module. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> keep going, Connor. Demon, oh, no. Demon Demon Chicken of Doom resubbed for three months. Uh, I'm ready for blood, sweat, and everyone's first 12 deaths tonight. <laughs> uh, White Fang uh, resubbed with Twitch Prime for three months in a row. White uh, Twitch resubbed. Oh, God. Twitchy the Twitch user resubbed with Twitch Prime for five months. Major Kudo resubbed for two months. How Shin666 resubbed for five months with Twitch Prime. Nia C. Fleckery gifted three tier one subs to the community to see to the third empty potion bottles and arcane games. Thank you so much. Gaijin Goomba rated with a party of hey. 103. We How did you him. manage? Here, here, here. We missed you, Goomba. <laughs> We know Who's him. That guy? We know him. Blackfoot Ferret with the Leap Bit Skyjin Raid. Internet uh, sensation. Gaijin Goomba. That's my Internet bit. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Zito so well, just grabbed me by the shirt. Anymore. Just grabbed me by the throat. Down, so. No. <laughs> no. How the... <laughs> 
Daber boy, thank you for the 100 bits. I love Bosco's Minotaur DM art. Oh, thank you. That's that was Malervic, actually drawn by Sir Malervic. So credit to yeah. Sir Malervic for drawing an amazing piece of art that he lets me use. Sam X1, uh, thank you for the tier one sub for six months in a row. Black Bolt 147, thank you for subscribing. Poppet Fan, thank you for resubbing for six months. Kest, uh, Kest, T, wait, Kesting, Kestvinga. Uh, thank you for resubbing with Twitch Prime for four months. Thank you guys for all the great times. Long time listener, been lurking since episode seven of The Unexpectables. Oh, man, it's been a long time. Infinite Kitty, thank you for resubbing for four months in a row. Let's hope everyone survives the first session. Indeed. Cracked Zed, thank you for subscribing. GForce39, thank you for subscribing for six months. Sub, uh, wait, Scuba Steve, thank Scuba you for the, 300, for the 300 bits. First time seeing Ravenloft. Let's see if it's as deadly as they say. Real meta, thank you for the 2,000 bits. It's... Spooky time! <laughs> oh. Well. Oh, God. Oh, my uh, ears. Eat a, eat a pineapple pizza. <laughs> Resubbed with Twitch Prime for four months. Good luck with the game. Now I have to go kill Strahd with my friends. Ah. Oh. Good luck with that. Uh, Millen, interesting for the 1,000 bits. Monty has become a player again. Huzzah! I make oh. things up. Has resubbed for six months. Uh, real meta with an additional 500 bits. I also have 50 street tacos, so I'm set for tonight. Ooh. 50 tacos? Mm. 50? Dang. That they sounds good. Be, they must be small, I'm, Did I'm you assuming. Bring enough to share with the class? I went to Chipotle for the first time and got tacos, and I ate them in like five seconds, and I'm like, I want more. <laughs> Hang on, guys. Give happens. me one second, guys. I just need to. <laughs> there we go. Were you Did you go on your dice? Super Nintendo? What the hell was that? I had to I had to blow off these uh these dice that I have not used in quite a long time. <laughs> Last time I rolled these dice was Shadow War. For, for, for a oh, second I thought you were that. cocking a gun and I was like, He's gonna you shoot the fucking computer again. <laughs> I was like, you are I don't not know what you guys are talking about. It's Instead, just Bosco's just like, hang on, I gotta break off the old dice. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> 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 oh my god! I got some props of my own. Wait, Bosco. Very important question: Are they die hard? The answer is already no. I already know what you're going to ask, and the answer is no. They are not die hard dice. They are not die hard dice. Actually, so true story. Mark knows the history of these. These actually used yeah. to be Mark's dice. Yep. These were the first dice I ever got when we started playing the original Shadow War, like eight years ago. And I have used them ever since. They have rolled very well for me. They're very nice, dark navy blue with Which white. Is great because when I numbers. had them, they never worked for me. Nope. That's why Hold on. I'm just gonna them. let me test. Oh, that's that's an 18 right off the bat. I'll take that. All right. Mm -hmm. That they. Okay. I love the way these things roll. Some so witchcraft was done in wrong, the passing of those can dice. Blame Mark. Mark, yeah. you've doomed us. I, listen, why true. did you give no, him big dice? Go back I, in time and kill me. Okay? I do have a few <laughs> more bits to read off. Yeah. Go ahead, Connor. Sorry. Uh. Mr. Inktail, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Yo, everyone, can't wait to see how this works. Never played Ravenloft. Edward says it's like Silent Hill, but I've never played that either. So here's some bits for my early condolences for your character's death. <laughs> everyone wants thank us you. dead already. And now they're paying for the funerals. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Uh, I make things up. Thank you for the 500 bits. Just finished our Strahd campaign, and we were successful in hunting down that fanged asshole. Happy hunting to all of you. <laughs> Hey. Of Dracula, you freaking nerd. Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? <laughs> we, we, we the should, Moon Knight panel. Stellar Coyote. Knight. Thank you for the 100 bits. Wow, a Ravenloft campaign filled with so many new stories and characters. I hope they live long enough for us to appreciate them. Oh, Princess, Princess Boots. Thank you for the retub, uh, retub, <laughs> resubbing uh, it's for six months. Prepare to die, loves. Mm. Thanks for all uh, the hope, hope, guys. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah everybody's really, really, really optimistic. Cheerful. Like, all Might Jr. Like, like, you are more likely to die in Ravenloft, but as a person who played Ravenloft with a character who was a moron, he lived way longer than he should have, and I think, mm -hmm. I think there's some hope for us. Mm. I believe I, in the heart of the cards. That is not how this works. Aw, <laughs> uh, damn it. Wrong game. Yeah. 
Oh, you, All Might oh, Jr. Whoopee. All Might Jr. resub for two months. Yay, Gothic Horror Month is here. Uh, our Fox Blood resubbed for six months. Aw, baby, let's get spooked. Also, we're all going to die. I can't wait to see it happen, though. <laughs> so Disco everybody does have at least reason. one backup character, just so the chat knows. Everybody's made do. one backup character. We do at have least. backup characters. Yeah. Uh, so. Disco Tech Priest, thank you for the 300 bits. Uh, my beta does a threat display of this every... Oh, my, wait, my beta does a... Threat display every morning at feeding time. My cats. Yeah, dude, Aurelian still face. would always want to fight every time he saw my face. Did you did you take him out of the tank for like five <laughs> seconds and then just put him back him. in? I like I too flexed. So he knows his place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was afraid uh, of his power. He was very smart. Why is that name familiar? I see. Aurelian. Soul. It's a League of Legends character. I yeah. Oh, oh the dragon. Yeah. Oh. I... Yeah. yeah. All, my fish, all my all my beta fish were named after League of Legends characters because I'm a loser. Mm. Mm. Uh, Which one was Teemo? Zed. Or... I had crack Z with the five thousand bits. Enjoy a bunch of bits, Zito. You goat this. Zito's burning pie. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you a plus two on that one. <laughs> burning pie resubbed with Twitch Prime for six months in a row. Woo! Hey, I'm a ninja. <laughs> Take it for the one hundred hey. bits. I love that name. Hey, I'm a ninja. Hey, uh, hello, all. I said I'd be. I said I'd be here, Mr. Bosco, and here I am with my ice cream. I've never been to a stream like this before, but I am ready for a good time. I want ice cream. Ar Arbiter Valu, thank you for the 200 bits. Theropod knows why I'm here. That's, good luck, y'all. Remember, only mild that, despair the first session. That's that's my IRL DM. Hey! Ah, yeah, excellent. Nice. Uh, Had to deal with level 17 Haka. Oh, God. C to the mm -hmm. third, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Bosco, I'll be taking notes on how to terrify my players on my Curse of Strahd campaign. So excited. G Cinder, thank you for the 100 bits. Can't catch the stream tonight because my friend's running Curse of Strahd tomorrow and I'm trying to avoid spoilers. Well, dern. Uh, Zanellis, thank you for... This, but... That's okay, they can catch the VOD. That's right. true. Yeah. Zanellis, thank you for uh, subscribing with Twitch Prime. Protoss... 103, thank you for the 50 bits. Monty, will a stream be on Laserdisc? <laughs> uh, no. We, look, we're looking into Laserdisc, but it's probably going to be on uh, Book on Tape. So Here's your answer. Definitely tape. be on Here's Beta Here, Here, bust Here, out those PSPs. Here's your answer. <laughs> There's your answer. Did you just oh, snap my Laserdisc in half? I'm going to fight everybody here. <laughs> Why did you break my Beta today? Tape in half, Monty? Sorry. Chat, oh, you're the bear today. that was my last today. Supermax. <sighs> Luzzy, bro, thank you for the 500 bits. Yo, I hope this goes well for you, and I can't wait to see what you, each, which of you nerds dies first. Dr. Why does it, everybody wants you? No one is rooting for you. This is amazing. It's not that they don't want it. It's probably they're expecting it, though. Yeah. That's fair. They're 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 be, they're preparing themselves, is what it is. I hope. Also, we are 18 minutes over. Are you good to start, Bosco, in the next two I'm. Minutes? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm just, whenever Connor stops, right. I'm good to go. Yeah, well, we're not Rap much God. more. Uh, Rap God. You keep getting right. interrupted. Uh, right, yo, I hope this fault. goes That's well for bad. you. Can't wait for this one. Which one of you nerds dies first? Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 100 bits. Looking forward to this, Bosco. I will be I will be judging on how goth this is. Commissar Baron, thank you for <sighs> resubbing for five months. Cost Guck, thank you for subscribing. Go Mered, thank you for the uh, six months of Prime subage. Codename Chaz, thank you for resubbing for six months. Mizuru007, th thank you for the five months in a row. Uh, Thought Pocket, thank you for the four bits. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zelos, <laughs> thank you for the gifting three subs to the community. Uh, 20, 20 BMG, thank you for the 265 bits. Uh, for the additional 25 bits after that. And Grimna, thank you for the 95 bits. Uh, Drea Kitty, thank you for the 25 bits. Dungeons with Idiots, thank you for the 200 bits. Fan for Seek to No Attention, thank you for the 100 hey. bits. Neo Tarakuma, okay. thank you for the six months of subage in a row. Uh, the Mightiest Yeti, thank you for the 400 bits. Drea Kitty, thank you for the 29 additional bits. Uh, Renfield, 88, thank you for the 500 bits. Jade Vex State, thank you for resubbing for four months. And v Volk. 100, thank you for the 100 bits. Costco, thank you for the 200 bits. Daver Boy, thank you for the 100 bits. Zanellis, thank you for the 500 bits. Sir Thomas Percy, thank you for the 500 bits. And Mr. Pockets 150, thank you for the 1400 bits. And I believe that's where we're good. 
Hey, right, guys, let's let's boy. do this for thought pockets. Let's yeah. do this like Brutus. <laughs> oh, just pocket. imagine the fucking that fucking Jim is... Gaffigan. Yeah. Thought pockets. <laughs> thought pockets. Oh my god. Such a good name. That's amazing. All right, guys, are you are you ready for some Ravenloft? Yeah, All right, let's yeah. do it. Let's, let's, All right, for us, so DM. The, the first question I have for everybody before we get started, how many, so the chat knows, how many of you have played Ravenloft before? I have. I have so not. Monty has. Zito nope. has not. Mark has. No for Thero. Yes for Mark Allen. And Connor, you are a no, correct? I'm sorry, what? I said <laughs> you are a no for having played Ravenloft, right? No, I have not played Ravenloft before. In fact, this, awesome. is, this is one. This is one of the few official settings I've played. Nice, heck yeah! All right, well, this is going to be fun. So, b before we get started, I have to figure out who I'm going to start with. And normally, I would just like start with somebody, but I need everybody to roll a d20 for me, just straight. Excellent. And that's oh, going to cool. tell us who we're starting with. Okay. Yahoo! <laughs> Oh, God. wow. <laughs> huh. That's the only one I'm going to have you all night. You burned a nat 20 already. That's the only one I'm going to have all night. Oh, my God. <laughs> a nat 20 on wow. who starts the game first. God, well, it's well. never on something important. Huh. I rolled oh. I rolled an 11. Just for the podcast, I rolled, people, I rolled an 11. I rolled, I rolled a 5. Two. I rolled a 5, too. I'm oh, so God. sorry, guys. That is heartbreak city. All right, Mark Allen Jr. Yeah. Uh, you have been one of the few people that have been around in Ravenloft, and you have been basically the guardian of the forest of the woods around Barovia, and really throughout all of Ravenloft. For those of you not familiar with Ravenloft, they have a stretch of woods known as the Svalch? Fallich? Svalik Svalik? Is how I've read Svalik, it. that's what it was. Svalik. Yeah. I can never pronounce these words right because they're all ancient and Romanian. Um, so you have basically been patrolling these woods, acting as their guardians ever since you were taken away by the mists from your world. And as you have done so, you have begun to notice that the woods have almost seemed alive in recent weeks, or at least to the best of your ability. And you have been trying to figure out who or what has been manipulating the plant life and the animal life in the woods. It doesn't seem to be one particular area, no matter where you seem to go there. Everything just seems to feel off. And as you travel through the woods and you continue to gather as much information as you can, I want to give, I want you to give me a perception check. 19. Hmm. Nice. All right. Uh, give me Unless one second. Unless it's smell load. based. Uh, it is not smell based. Okay. It is sight based. Uh, yeah, so 19. that is a 19. So as you continue to move through the foliage, you notice it making a lot of noise underneath your feet. More so, you're normally pretty adept at moving without being heard, particularly through this kind of terrain. However, for some reason, it seems no matter what you do, it just seems to make some kind of a noise. And let's see if this is going to work as I drop you onto the map and move you over. Yoink. Like that. You have and to move the to players to the right screen. Indeed. And then I need to make sure that you have all of your stuff. Aha! That is why. I'm blind. You are blind! How could you, Sam? All right. And you do have dark vision, correct? Correct. Excellent. So we're going to do that. And then Wallfly, for the viewers uh -oh. at home, will stick with you. So hopefully Wallfly can be seen. Buzz, so buzz. pay no attention to the fly. That is simply for the viewers. Uh, as you begin to broach the tree line, uh, you notice what looks to be a river, and uh, I need you to give me a knowledge history. Oh, no. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. I'll tell you what. I will give you advantage on this because you have been in Ravenloft, so that's going to be a 23 for you. And that's, as we a, that's a map, still a 12. No, it's still a 12. History. Oh, it's still a 12. Oh, I'm looking at perception. <laughs> yeah. It's still a 12. I was like, that's really cool of you, but... No. Uh, so with a 12, you would still know that this is a, a river, and being towards the north of uh, Ravenloft, you would know that this dumps into a lake known as Lake Zarovich. However, as you examine the murky water, you notice that it's not its usual blue, but almost like a, a polluted kind of greenish murky... Uh, Hugh. This is wrong. 
I'm gonna move closer and investigate the lake or the river, rather. Heck, on the banks. All right, give me an investigation. Anytime. Uh, how are you investigating? Is it with sight, with touch, with smell? Uh, just looking at it mostly sight because if it, if uh, as you described it as polluted, yeah, um, she's no stranger to there being pollution in the water. Mm -hmm. But this is different than what she's used to seeing. So she's looking it over, being cautious and not necessarily touching or, or sniffing too too closely. But uh, looking it over, looking for any sort of uh, indication of what might be wrong. Uh, you notice that it looks like it's almost if someone dumped an entire vat of just waste, of just uh, various minerals that aren't supposed to be in there that would uh, contaminate the water. And you've also noticed as you get closer that there are various branches and barks of tree that have just been ripped apart and some even thrown into this lake, which is actually kind of backing it up a little bit and not allowing the water to, to flow naturally. Uh, the lake is to the north or to the south? To the south. And okay. uh, north would be directly above you and south being directly below you. Right. So the river is flowing southward towards the lake, correct? Towards the lake, correct. Okay, so I'm going to look to the north and see if I can follow this river uh, back up to the north to try and find the source. Uh, as you look, it seems to just stretch for miles. <sighs> well, I mean, is there anything immediately nearby that would catch my attention and prevent me from heading towards the source or trying to uh, find the source not that you're aware of you you're more than welcome to start investigating all right then i'm going to i'm going to head north all right gonna as you begin river. to make your as you begin to make your way towards the north i need you to roll me another perception check as you begin to hear something in the branches to your right 12 excellent ah yes and so it begins uh you my friend uh, begin to hear what sounds like uh, groaning coming from inside the foliage. As you watch as something that turns you to your core, you begin to see creatures manifesting out of the foliage, and I need you to roll initiative. Oh, God, already? Oh, wow. Yep. Lord. Uh, I didn't select my token, but it's 14. 14, excellent. And then I got to roll for my bad boys. Wow. Well, great, you're going first. Uh, so you immediately see two directly to your south that would be east. Do you have a music, Bosco? I do, which will now, uh, if I have the right one. Aha! Ooh, hopefully that's playing. There we go. Uh, yeah, there we go. sounds great. Cool. Uh, well, uh, if I am first, I'm going to... Do these, these creatures look plant-like? These almost look, if you could imagine, like twigs that are being pieced together. These are quite small, smaller than you for sure, but they they look like they were pieces of trees that almost came together to form a creature. Mm -hmm. Well, that's disconcerting. Uh, I am going to go ahead and pull out my bow mm -hmm. uh, and fire a shot at the closest uh, thing. Just to, it's not an intentional damaging shot so this so, is like a warning shot yeah okay uh, so you're gonna try to hit an area kind of around them or maybe stick it in right a tree that's near them the closest one yeah got it all right go ahead and roll to hit five. Oh. i mean to be fair you're shooting the ground so i will right. say that it lands not directly in front of them but it within five feet of them um and it seems to just kind of look down and then look back up at you and pay it no mind cool hey, bosco can you turn down the volume just a little bit can do Awesome. Uh, how is that? Perfect. Nice. Awesome. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, for these creatures' turn, they are going to immediately rush you, uh, unless there was anything else you wanted to do with a bonus action or anything like that. Because uh, no, all you do is roll to attack. All right. Uh, 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 let's see. This is... I gotta see. Uh, yay, I can make it just barely. Cool. Great. <laughs> Great, excellent, <laughs> loving it, so hey. good, the best, even. Uh, all right, and let's see if these dice will do me some justice. All uh, right, yay! Oh, all right. Well, one's not bad. So you get hit once from a strike from these guys uh, for a total of three damage. Okay. Uh, as one swings wildly at you, that you're able to duck out of the way, but it leans you right into almost like a, a left hook from the other one. Uh, and it is now your turn as uh, you begin to hear more groaning from inside the bushes. Uh, this is all considered forest, right? 
Correct. Cool. So I'm going to disengage okay. across the river. Excellent. And if I can, I'd like to jump it so I don't have to go through the water. Okay. Give me mm. an athletics or an acrobatics of your choice. Can we move wallfly? We can move wallfly. Oh. Yeet. Buzz. <laughs> See, that would so have been as, the time for that nat 20. Uh, yeah, as as you leap, give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Me. Uh, you, you leap make sure across. To, make sure to say your rolls as well. Yeah, four. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you, you leap across, and these things, almost being inhumanly fast, swipe at your legs and cut them out from under you. And as you try to grab for that ledge, you actually end up sliding back into the murky water. Oh, great. And I need you to make a constitution saving throw, buddy. Yeah. Ouch. Seven. Oh. oh. Can I roll above 10 to... today, please? <laughs> you begin to feel this murky water cascading over your flesh. And even though it's not truly flesh like it once was, it still feels wrong, and it begins to eat away at it as you are now considered poisoned. Oh, excellent. Great. Yeah. Uh, all right. That was your... I'm going to say that was your movement, so you still have a shot well, if you want to take I it from in there. disengaged, so... Oh, you did disengage. All right, yeah. well, then these things are going to follow you Great. into the water, and as you see them move into it... What would normally be, as you can feel the the almost acidic properties of the water eating away at your flesh, you would expect it to be eating away at the wood, but it seems to just kind of go past them, as if they're not affected by it. That's, that's uh, and they are going to swing it. They are going to swing at you again. I don't know how I crit you with that. That's crazy. All right, it's only one though. It's so only all those one. jokes about dying real fast. Yeah. Guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I maxed the damage. Oh, I'm so sorry. So gonna that's be... going to be 14 points of damage oh from one of them. Geez. Oh, as, as, as you see one leap off of the bank and try to drive its pointy barked hand through your chest. And it is now your turn. I'm not liking this at all. Um. Okay. So... Uh, I can't five foot step in fifth edition, can I? No. Nope. No, you cannot. You'd have to disengage. I need to get out of the water. Correct. That's the problem. So I guess and I have doing to so disengage now would again. provoke. Correct. Uh, so I will move. I get my full movement on a disengage. You'll right? get your full movement, but it's going to take double movement to move up to the bank. So you'll have to use ten to get one space here, and then okay. you'll be able to move normally. So that's 10. Yep. I can't. Where's my token? There it is. 10, 20, 25, 30. All right. Uh, yeah, I had to disengage, so. Excellent. That's my turn. All right. Uh, these things are going to give hot pursuit. Uh, however, lucky for you, buddy, they cannot make it all the way there with the double movement. Oh, thank God. So they will they will move all the way to you, but they will not be able to attack. So it I is now your to turn. Click on something else, but it might as well work on that. Um, I'm gonna okay. use entangle, um, okay. basically right at their feet. All right. Uh, that is a DC. Is it strength? Uh, spells uh, strength. Yeah. Strength. All right. And what's 12. the DC for you? Beat a twelve. Oh, yeah. oh God. That's a no. And a definite no. So they are both grabbed. Cool. Awesome. Uh, so they are restrained. You see, I'm... you see, as you kind of call forth the the plant life that still seems to be somewhat neutral and normal, as it reaches out and begins to grow out from under them, grasping them both by the leg. It slowly begins to inch its way up towards their abdomen, as you can see it trying to constrict their movement. Does anything seem off about the 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 growth that is entangling them similar to how they seem off and the river seems off or is it more how i would expect it to behave it's more how you would expect it to be uh, these things seem tainted but s most of the plant life seems normal you've just noticed abnormalities and the water has been the most egregious thing okay. that you've seen cool all right uh with them entangled i'm i'm booking it i'm, I'm gonna go north. uh where where are you heading specifically north <laughs> <laughs> Specifically to the north? Yes. 
All right. And as you run to the north, that's where I'm going to pause you. Cool. And combat is over. Well done, Mark. You escaped. Huh. <laughs> you escaped the very first battle. That very um, nearly killed me. <laughs> it's true. All right. Uh, calamity. Hello. Mr. Christopher Zito. Hello. How are you? Um, startled. Are you nervous? <laughs> are you nervous by what you have just witnessed? Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna do fine, trust me. So, Calamity, ever since your exile from your Druidic people, you have still wandered the woods trying to give safe passage to those that would allow it. And while you no longer do it in official capacity like your sister does, it's really all you've ever known, and it's the closest to normalcy that you've been able to get since you struck down the necromancer that attempted to betray the both of you. However, as you continue to move about the forest, you happen across one day a very strange traveler who kind of shanters up to you uh, at the very perimeter of the forest. Oh, uh, excuse me there, sir. Uh, madam? Sir, sir, madam? I just turn, Calamity turns her head and just looks at it, folds her arms and awaits for her to, uh, for this person to continue. Oh, sorry, I, I don't mean to be rude. I am looking to traverse this particular forest, and I have been told that there was a small woodland creature that would be able to assist me. Would that happen to be you? It depends. For what purpose is your travel? Uh, well, simple exploration through the forest. I, I understand that this particular forest has been having abnormal activities, and I'm quite curious as a research, researcher myself if it is possible to A, traverse, and B, if not, why? What are you researching? Specifically, there is a strange fog that seems to roll in at night through these particular woods, and I'm curious if we could catch a glimpse of them. Give me a knowledge history. Okay. I will give you advantage because you're technically in your home world. Okay, cool, because I have a minus one. What a 10. Excellent. Uh, so you've never really heard of mists encroaching or any... You know there's normal fog, but you've never heard of it having any special properties that you're aware of. A rolling fog that summons creatures is a new phenomenon I've never heard of. Do you have oh, anything else you could tell me about it? Well, that's quite, quite strange. I, I I will be perfectly honest. It, it's mostly speculation and conjecture and formula and arcane research, but I, I, that is my purpose here. I am hoping if I am able to catch a glimpse of it, then perhaps maybe, just maybe, we may be able to figure out what's going on. Well, I have nothing else on the docket, as it were, so lead the way. Well, I was hoping you knew how to get to the other side. I thought, oh, all right, I guess I'll go first. Uh, he has to roam. Oh, boy. oh yeah, no, I'm no, I, I'm, I'm gonna like lead him into yeah. the woods, but like I want him to like this is his show, not mine. I'm just yeah. here to make sure he doesn't get killed. So I don't. Again, I don't. Okay, with another fucking twenty, this this particular gentleman seems to navigate these woods as if he's been here before. He seems to not know anything about them, which is why he presumably found you. But as you see him kind of pushing branches out of the way and finding various forks in the road, he always seems to kind of have a general idea of where he's going, which is a little startling to you because you're kind of the expert around here, and there's a reason you have always navigated people safely through these woods. I gotta say, I'm a little shocked the fact that you can navigate so well, yet you sought my help. Oh, well, uh, let's call it uh, beginner's luck. Mm, very well. Uh, well, we've reached deep into the woods by now. Uh, any direction you feel we should lead, I will take you to. I will take the front after this. Well, from what I understand, the mists roll in at night, and judging by my calculations... You see him kind of looking through a notebook where you simply look up and you notice the sun has almost completely set over the horizon. The sun should be setting quite soon. Insight. Go ahead. Oh, beans and nine. Yeah, seems legit. Do you still wish to travel during the night? 
Oh, well, that's kind of why I was hoping you would be here. I hear that if anyone would happen to attack us on the road, you have quite the um, expertise in dealing with them, or so I was told. Well, let us find a body of water then if you want to look for rolling mists. I will take uh, the lead and find a location then. Give me a survival check. Hell yeah, what? let's go. 24. Hey, you yeah. are easily able to grab the sense of where you are and instantly seek out a little creek, not unlike what we just saw with uh, Mr. Mark Allen Jr. However, very clear and running water as you hear it passing by some rocks underneath the water. And as you kind of break the tree line, you notice that now the sun has completely gone down. And uh, give me a perception check, sight based. I don't know if you have any do. for that. Uh, I do not, other than the fact that it says here uh, I could see perfectly within magical darkness for 60 feet. So the darkness that's encroaching, you notice he hasn't pulled out any kind of light device. And by that, I mean a torch. Mm. You're uh, it, you, you see, just it turn, it's starting to turn black and white, but you can see perfectly for quite a be while. Before I make this perception check, uh, can I? What would I need to roll to just double check, like if I could gauge what this person is? Because like I haven't like asked or anything, or but I've been traveling with them for a while. Like, can I gauge what race they are? Uh, the, you can easily tell that they are an elf. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah. Then he he has dark vision as well, so Correct. this is kind of okay. Yes. Let us go with a twenty-one. Excellent. As the sun begins to set, you notice at the very tip of your vision that there does seem to be something encroaching on the forest. From this distance, though, you can't really see what it is. Uh, I hold my arm out, stopping them, and I kind of like, oh, I motion them to like get behind like a tree or something, and I point into the direction. Oh, 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 all right. He seems to follow your instructions. Yep. Uh, something's off in the distance. I'm not sure if this is what you're looking for. You're the what, expert what is here. It? What is it? What is it? Tell me. What is it? I, I, I like grab him by like the scruff of the of his shirt oh, and I pull yeah, his yeah, like yeah. eyes out a little bit. Yes. Ah. Uh, oh. 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 This is promising. We should get closer. I. I very. I mean, very well. I roll a stealth check. All right. I guess stop that seen. one. Oh, uh, oh. oh boy. Yep. As as you begin to walk, you again, like I described earlier, it, you're normally pretty adept at moving through these forests, but for whatever reason, there's a lot of twigs on the floor, and with every step, you seem to break one or crunch a leaf or oh, something balls. that just causes a little bit of noise. Uh, do you cross the riverbank to get to the other side? Uh, not just yet, because unle unless he wants to go there, I do not cross yet. You, he did say that he wanted to get closer. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, all right, well, no stealth here then. Uh, I look to him. I'm not sure if I can... Well, no, I, she, like, stops and turns to him. How good you are at jumping? Ah, uh, <laughs> how good are you at catching? Athletics check to pick him up. Uh, he lets you just very easily. You're able to just scoop him up. All right, cool. Acrobatics, let's go. Jump across. All right. Give it to me with disadvantage because you're carrying somebody. That's fair. 11. 11. Uh, you are able to get him across, but you lose your footing a little bit. Give me a deck save to hold okay. on to the riverbank. Yeah. Oh, ball six. Oh, so you, you slide down into the water, but thankfully, unlike before, this water seems to be perfectly fine, but you do get all kind of mucked up. Eh, Calamity just, like, shakes her leg, just like, oh, well, that's unfortunate. No worse for uh, wear. As you, as you kind of pull yourself out of the ravine, he kind of dusts himself off. Oh, why, thank you. That was quite graceful. Sure, let's go with that. I pat him on the side of the shoulder, and I, like, move forward. Uh, give me another perception check. Can do. Hugh, 17. 17. You begin to see these mists getting closer to you and getting thicker. They are probably about 30 feet away from what you can tell with your dark vision. All right, well, I pull him to a location where we can hide, and I point out and I point out to him, but like I don't like tell him to peer around. Something's moving off in the distance. Does it look like fog? Peer over? Absolutely. Just, she just like turns her head to him and nods silently. All right, all right. Let's let's see if it's sentient at all. I've I've heard it almost has a mind of its own. Um, okay, you begin well. to see it. 
you, you begin to see it approaching closer now, about 20 feet away from your location. Well, sentient then. Uh, is Are there, like, you said there are twigs and stuff on the floor, yes? Oh, oh, uh, yes. Oh, no, that oh. was me talking to you, Bosco. Oh, yes, there's there's foliage all over the place. Uh, I pick up a twig, twirl it okay. in my fingers, and throw it in a direction where whatever is in the fog will hear and or reach it. Uh, you toss the twig, and you, you do... You are able to chuck it far enough to get into the mist. It seems to just pass through like it was normal fog. You kind of see it cut through it just a little bit and then kind of disappear underneath the thick cloud. And yeah. as you do, you see it encroach a little bit closer, probably about 15, 10 feet. It seems to be slowly progressing towards you, like it's like a fog rolling in. All right, well, nothing's moving out of the fog, right, after I just did that? Not that you can see. All right, well, he wants to examine the fog, so this is his deal. I, I gently nudge him to move out, and I move out with him. All right, you, you see him with a little bit of encouragement uh, begin to very eagerly run directly into the fog. He runs probably about 20, 30 feet into it. It doesn't seem to have any effect on him as he immediately begins writing down notes of what he can see, almost a little disappointed that it's not more alive. Do you follow well, him into the mist? Uh, yeah, my job is to stick with this dude, so I'm Excellent. right next to him. Uh, when you do give me a constitution saving throw. Blech. Here I go. A five. A five. The moment you take a step into the mist, your head immediately begins to throb as you suddenly have double vision. You see two of him writing notes as he kind of turns back to you. This is absolutely fascinating. It's, it doesn't seem to be sentient, but it, it almost seems to be coalescing to a certain point. He kind of looks back towards you and the mist seems to be swirling around your feet now. It's almost as if it's rolling in towards you specifically and pushing past you. And I need you to make another constitution saving throw. Here I go. Ten. Ten. You begin to see the trees. Your double vision starting to come back, but the trees seem slightly off. They seem to be foliage and they still seem to be healthy, but they don't seem to be the trees that you are used to. And as you continue to try to fight, you begin to feel another pain in your head. The more that you continue to fight, the more that you continue to try to constrict your vision to what you know should be there, it seems to almost fight back against you. Would you like to continue to fight it or would you like to give in to it? Uh, I will fight it because this is not what I signed up for. Give me another constitution saving throw. 17. Nice. You continue to try to fight against whatever this outside force is, and you suddenly hear the outside world starting to go deaf, almost as if there was a ringing in your ear. You can see the man's mouth talking to you and writing those notes as if his hand was possessed, but you can't understand any of the things that he's saying. You can barely make out his lips moving. And he's again, as you could, Oh, sorry. He is, he is still there in front of you, but as you continue to look around, the woods almost seem to be morphing around you as if the foliage, again, is not the foliage that you remember. And as you continue to look at him, you can see him starting to silhouette a little bit. If you can imagine the, the color leaving and just an outline being there, almost a foggy outline. Would you like to continue to resist? Can I not grab this person? Like You, can, you, can, you may attempt to. I would like... But, but, it, do I have to make the con roll before I do this, though? Uh, I will allow you to try to reach out for him, and then we'll yes. see what happens. Yes, I'd like to do that. Excellent. As, as you reach out for him, you watch your hand go completely through the silhouette in almost like a foggy trail being left behind. Give me another constitution saving throw. Okay. 11. Excellent. A as you try to figure out what is going on, you see the foggy visage of the man as you kind of claw through it completely disappear as you drop to your knees the world around you becomes black as the foliage begins to be just darken till there is nothing but fog and you pass out Ouch. hey mark yeah as you continue to sprint to the north you need to give me a perception check well alrighty then 18 
Excellent. Uh, as you are moving through the, the foliage and trying to follow the path of this river, you see something extremely strange. You see a body on the floor. Almost like they were running out through the woods and tripped over something and just fell there into like a, a pile of leaves. Uh, for the sake of everybody at home, would you, Christopher Zito, like to describe what your character looks like? Sure thing. Uh, you see a humanoid uh, figure. Almost at the very first start, you could have thought was a tiefling, but the features are way more animalistic than they should be. Uh, there is a gray furred, uh, sort of like goat like humanoid on the floor. Uh, she has like no like, you know, humanoid hair that reaches out. It's just more like a uh, fur shaved head. Uh, she has. Uh, Dark, uh, dark horns that kind of spiral out from the top of her head. She is wearing a red garb that looks like it's some sort of uh, wilderness garb, but they are. Uh, she is adorned with a pair of gauntlets that are uh, enjeweled with a emerald in the center of both the back of the hands and encrusted with a very ornate bronze. And Mark, would you like to describe your character for everybody? I know Chris isn't awake, but just so they have a general idea of what you look like. Yeah, uh, my character is uh, outlandishly tall and lanky, nearly nine feet tall, but thin to a point of concern. Uh, there are parts of her flesh that appear to be rotting away, uh, places that look like she's maybe taken a wound that never really healed. Uh, on her face, she wears the skull of an elk uh, that, wear that she wears essentially as a helmet, and... Uh, from behind the openings in the back of the skull, she has two uh, twin ponytails on either side of her head. Uh, the, the skull does have the full elk horns stretching out from the back of it, and she carries in her hand a spear. Uh, as far as clothing goes, she seems adorned in an outfit that was fashioned from some kind of fur, most likely elk to match along with the skull that she is wearing as a mask helmet combination. Excellent. Uh, so you see what Chris has described laying in front of you, uh, a creature which you have never in your life seen before. So I'm not, this is not familiar to the woods. This is not familiar at all. Um, I will approach the body cautiously, um, careful to, to see if this might be some sort of, uh, uh, play dead attempt or something like that, as there are plenty right. of animals that do that sort of thing. And as you do, let's switch you back. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And hopefully you both can see. I see. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I have no control of my token, though. Yep, let me give you some. Along right with some dark vision so you can actually see what's going down. Hell yeah. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -ba. I appreciate I'm dying. you. Yeah, <laughs> basically. <laughs> uh, and you should be good. There you go. Yep, there it is. There you go. All right. So you see this body lying on the ground. Yeah, uh, like I said, I will approach slowly, uh, waiting for any sort of reaction or, or sign or indication that this creature is playing dead. Uh, Zito, give me another constitution saving throw with advantage this time. Very well. 16. You begin to get sound back in your ears before anything else. And as you try to open your eyes, everything still seems blurry. And it looks like the woods you had seen right before you passed out. But as you slowly turn, you see this strange creature with an almost skull-like face and horns and flesh that doesn't seem to be the color of any flesh you've ever seen. And it's just kind of looking at you inquisitively. And you Immediately see... Immediately bolts up and jumps back. Full movement. Okay. Uh, as, uh, as she does that, Waihakeda will uh, pull a more defensive stance as she... Uh, uh, lev levels her spear in the direction of this creature. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, forty. Mm hmm. Picks up a defensive stance, pulls from her side a short sword, awaiting for this creature to make the first move, but notices that they are not doing so. So she mm -hmm. just lowered, not like completely lowers her defense, but stands there. Where is the researcher? Uh, the creature stares back. 
you can tell that she's kind of sizing you up, trying to determine if you're a threat or not. Uh, and after a moment, uh, a raspy voice kind of responds to you. I can understand her, right? Uh, absolutely. Probably yeah. should have asked. I'm speaking <laughs> common, yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, she'll respond. You should not be here. I look around at my surroundings. This is completely different at this point, yes? Ab absolutely. You saw, it almost looked, if you can imagine your reality and what you're seeing now almost phasing over each other, and then this one starting to become more prevalent, that's basically what happened before you passed out. And now that you're awake, the last thing that you saw is what you're looking at now. Calamity just like looks at the woods, takes it all in. She lets out a big, arduous sigh and sheaths her sword. Clearly. Are you from the towns nearby? No, I... There, there is... No, I was exiled from my town. This whole entire woods is not something I remember. Everything's all weird and pale, and the trees are all different. Uh, she'll relax her guard slightly. There's there's enough of you that is at least animal in nature that she's not immediately put, uh, at, uh, she's not immediately concerned that somehow you've violated any particular, let's say, a treaty or agreement. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you require assistance? That would be fantastic, although giving assistance is what got me in this trouble in the first place. I was a woodland guide helping a researcher find mist. Does that ring any bells? Does that uh, ring any bells? The, the mists absolutely ring a bell, and you are very aware that they populate the woods all over the place. Are these new or are they normal? They are extremely normal. However, you've never really been able to figure out what they do. They've always seemed to leave you alone. It's almost just like fog to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You speak of mists. These are the natural order of things. And but where is here? If you seek assistance, oh, sorry. you'll not want to go in that direction. As she points to the south with her spear. Well, there are dangers in that direction. Uh. All right. Well, Calamity kind of just like looks back and tries to peer into the woods. Uh, you see, force force station for as far as your eyes can see. Mm -hmm. Calamity kind of, like, stretches looking at the woods, kind of just, like, moseying back very slowly. Uh, as as you get closer, I need both of you guys to roll me perception checks. Can you, can oh, you dear. give us just a half a second to just, like, say hello? 22. <laughs> no. no. No friendship. Only violence. There are no Only friendships death. here. Not 20. So, why, Hakeda, you hear something very familiar, but you... Mr. Zito, you hear what sounds like the snapping of twigs and the, the shifting of foliage on the ground as you instantly begin to hear sounds coming from both sides and in all directions around the two of you. And that's where I'm going to pause you two. No! Oh, yep. God! <laughs> uh, hey, Monty. Up for multiple cliffhangers. Hi. Hi, Monty. Are you, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's go to war. You, okay. uh, <laughs> for everybody at home, I, I should have probably done this the first time I introduced Mark. Can you describe what your character looks like for everybody at home? My character? Yes. Okay. Uh, Grim Harl is probably a, I'm going to say like six foot nine minotaur, uh, which is kind of a bluey gray fur color. Mm -hmm. uh, she wears very crude, uh, intimidating armor of dark uh, gray iron and steel with a mm -hmm. curtain of chain mail that runs down the neck over the black tangled mane of hair that runs down uh, mm -hmm. their back and their face. 
Uh, they wear a heavy set of pauldrons and display on their horns two scales hanging on each horn. And on their chest plate is the symbol of Tyr, the god of justice. Um, their eyes are very cold and calculated, uh, and they move with solid steps and with purpose. Excellent. And for your adventure to start, we begin in Faerun, in a small town called Bryn Shander. You have been part of the militia in this rather small town uh, to the north in uh, Icewind Dale, and you have been charged with the keeping of the Southwest Gate. There is a long trail known as the Caravan Trail that leads directly into the city. There is only one way in and one way out through one of three various points of the city. There's the Southwest Gate, the North Gate and the East Gate, and this is your particular station. However, today, it seems that a militia has decided to attack the city, and you have taken up your guard directly in front of the gate, and that is where we are going to start you, and so I need you to roll initiative. Oh, great. Yep. And hopefully you can see, and I'm going to need new music for this. I made too many maps. <laughs> I made too many maps. Yeah. Did you make just enough? Um, Boom. Six. Hey, Monty's <laughs> off to a good start. Hey, hey, my class, this is totally expected. Yeah, no, it is expected. <laughs> All right. Um, this is where do we fun. want Wallfly? Uh, Wallfly, I think I have uh, to the left of Monty right now. I don't so see it. Yeah. No. Uh, Oh, it helps when I assign it to Wallfly. There we go. Well, it, I could see Wallfly before, but now I can't see anything. Yeah. yeah. No, so now no, Wallfly can black. be seen. Yep. So why don't we do this so that everybody can do, do, do. There we go. All right. Cool. Look with and your then. special eyes. We. I don't see anything. If I'm supposed to yeah. see something, I don't see a thing. It's black. Let's see. I can probably fix that, too. Let's see. You should see. It was Wallfly all along. The mist mm. came in because of them. Mm. Ah, oh, yeah. no. oh, it Wallflies helps when I put you on the right layer. How's that, wall. Monty? <laughs> I still don't see anything. Curses. Wallfly can see, but I can't see on my screen. No one else can oh. see but Wallfly, so. I think I know what I did. Hold on just a minute. All right. Okay, I can see through. myself, but I can't see anything. It's darkness. Um, yeah. You should see. I'm going to give you a little you wanna, bit of You should have like Do you want to just give all of us wallfly vision or no? Uh, I can, yeah. Yeah, let's just do that. It's easy. That'd probably be best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can do. Uh, okay. Okay, you should all have wallfly vision, hopefully. We don't see it, no. Nope. Just black. Oh, good. This worked on the last one. Did I just you do realized. something with Wallfly's commands? Because that's... It, before, uh, we could all see through Wallfly, but then you changed... Yeah, I don't think I changed it. anything. Let me let me do this. There, there it is. is. There it is. There okay, we go. cool. Yeah. Excellent. Sorry about that, guys. Like I said, the lighting was the thing I was most worried about. So, you should hopefully <laughs> see a nice little perimeter around you of about I... 30 feet. I see stone, a stone bridge before me, and um, you should see garrison. one end of it, which you are currently at, and then not the other end. I do not see the other end. No. Excellent, because that's where everyone is charging from. Hooray! Okay. Uh, you see a various collection of not a very well put together militia. It seems like various people that were almost picked out of a village. Uh, some of them with uh, kind of crude makeshift armor, other ones with weapons that look, some of which look like they're rusted over. Other ones look like they were just taken off bodies that perhaps they killed on one of the two uh, opposing, uh, what's the word for it? Pillars. Um, but as they begin to make their way towards you, they have to get all the way across the bridge, which is not going to be easy. Uh, so let's do this. Let's move these guys right here. Boom. Ooh. Excellent. Uh, Monty, you see what looks to be like uh, two fighters try to charge you immediately from the end of the bridge. Uh, and you okay. see two seem to take up a position in the back, uh, while another one seems to try to fight through to the side. 
um, as they are attempting to breach through and get to the city, uh, you hear a voice behind you call out, Allow no one to cross the bridge! And you instantly recognize it as your commander and the sheriff of Burn Shandar. Okay. All right. Uh, but they had to use all their movement to get to you, so it is now your turn. I bring out my mace. Mm-hmm. And I kind of swing it loosely in my hand, and I look down to these aggravated assaulters. And I look down to them, I say, Allow this to be your warning. And I am going to cast Word of Radiance. Oh, snap. Ooh, Click the nice. spell for me. Uh, sure thing. Monty it gives is, no shits. It is a cantrip. So they have to make a DC 12. Wait, that should. Wisdom? Hold on. No, that's correct. Uh, DC 12 constitution saving throw. And anyone within five feet of me is going to take uh, two, two points of radiant damage. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> All right, that one passed. Is it half damage or do they just resist? Uh, they take they take no damage if they got it if they succeed. So oh, it's a can trip. All so. Right. All right. Uh. All right. Uh. You see, most of them be uh, able to shake it off. Uh. But it looks like the one directly in front of you uh kind of winces back a little bit as it seems to blind him for a moment. Okay. Uh, with my all right. With my bonus action, because that was yes. an action. <laughs> And for I, my bonus action, yeah, <laughs> Where's every I am GM going to see? cast spiritual weapon. Mm. Okay, mm. Uh, and I'm going to place Dude. it between these two people uh, who Kill are further them. away, and I'm going to aim for the person to the right of the okay. spiritual weapon. Got it. Um, that is absolutely a hit. All right, damage uh, will be six force damage. <laughs> You watch this man be obliterated as your weapon knocks him completely off the bridge. I kind, uh, of like, I kind of shake my neck like a bovine animal and allow the scales to kind of rattle next to me, and I just stare down unflinching. Uh, when you watch him go over the side, give me a perception check with advantage. Okay. I keep clicking away from my sheet because I'm not used to this. <laughs> You're like, all right, I'm done with that NPC. Yeah, right. It's <laughs> uh, got a name 12. And oh, wait. 17. Uh, you had advanced, so 17. Yeah, 17. The pass that leads into your town never had a chasm between the two points that connected the road to the actual city. So it was strange that he just fell off the bridge. It should just be a road. But you seem to kind of shake it off because there's an immediate threat directly in front of you as all of these gentlemen in front of you are going to swing. Okay. Uh, you have an AC of 18, if I'm not mistaken? 18, yes. All right. So that actually somehow hit. That is a terrible whiff. And that one somehow hit. Hey, my blue dice. And then in the back, mm. you see what looks like someone with a crossbow kind of lining it up and takes a pot shot. And that whiffs over your head. So... You see an arrow go whizzing by your head as you parry a strike from the gentleman who was blinded directly in front of you, but it leaves mm -hmm. you open to two attacks on the side. Uh, and you are going to take... Uh, over the course of two attacks, you take a total of seven damage. Okay, one second. Let me just do math real fast. Okay. All right. Uh, you then see uh, the barbarian to your... I guess it would be your right, but on the far left, this guy right here. Mm -hmm. uh, you see him call out, Get past her! Uh, and you see the one on the right try to run past you. You will get an attack of opportunity as he leaves your square. Uh, if he's an enemy, he can't move through my space, though. Oh, he cannot? Yeah. Only allies can move through the same space as you. Uh, he'd have to shove me. Oh, all right. Well, then he can't move past you. Yeah, you're right. There's not enough room there. Excellent. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. No, you're absolutely right. Uh, he would have to push you to the left. Uh, all right. So that is their turn. That is everybody. Uh, you begin to hear noises coming from further down the bridge. It sounds like more people in makeshift armor. And you can hear someone barking out commands, but you can't really make out what they're saying. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to Word of Radiance again. Okay. Oh, so bad. Right. <laughs> One oh. damage. DC I rolled an actual one. one. Hey, Monty, if we haven't done this in a while. Give me a high or low. Roll a d6 for me and call high or low. Uh, high. Okay. As in, hi, how are you? Hey. Hey. hey! You notice the guy in front of you try to resist this yet again, 
Uh, and as you kind of blind him again, he stumbles back and you hear, <laughs> as he is gone. Bye. Huh. A lot of holes Bye, Felicia. In <laughs> yeah. Let me see. All right. That's a fail. Oh, there's the bad rolls. Great. Awesome. So nobody passes, apparently. Oh, you passed. Bless you. All right. You see the archer reloading almost unfazed by your damage while the two in front of you kind of put up their, their hands to, bl like, block the light. As the uh, archer is reloading, my spiritual weapon, which is a hammer, is going to swing around and smash them in their side. Mm. Or attempt to, anyway. 12. Mm, that's going to hit. Okay, huh. damage. This is probably going to hurt. Seven. <laughs> oh. ah! These poor guys. <laughs> <laughs> mess with the bull. It's true. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to do, Monty? Uh, that is my action, my bonus action. I am going to stand firm in place. And the guy who died in front of me, I'm going to take my hooved foot and just, like, not, like, crush him. Or, no, he fell. No, he's there. Yeah, he, I, stumbled, uh, he, stumbled, he, he stumbled back. But if you want to do something, I'll let the body stay up there. Yeah, I want to like, just put my hoof on the body and just, like, look down to these two and just, like, say nothing and just stare coldly. So as this guy kind of stumbles back, he actually trips over himself onto the ground, and as you stomp down, you crush his throat, and they can hear the gurgle oh. as you just stand firm, hoof on his throat. Mm. Um, all right, it is their turn. Uh, you will see the almost barbaric-looking creature uh, move in front of you and again point behind, and he is going to assist his friend to try to move you. Oh. All right, so this is uh, contested athletics, I believe, for you? Yeah, shove. All right. Hold the line, Monty. I'm trying. Hold the line. Oh, Ooh. 20. Very nice. Uh, Ty goes soft, to, soft 20. Uh, Ty goes to the attacker or the defender? Uh, the aggressor. Okay. Uh, so then, yep. Unfortunately, with an exact tie because of the advantage, you are pushed five feet to the right. You're still on the bridge. Um, but you now see this gentleman trying to run past you. Uh, as he now has an opening to get through. Would you like to use your reaction? Oh, yes, absolutely. All right. I'm going to use my mace. All right. Soft 20. Oh, fuck. That, too high, you miss. Bonk. Yeah. <laughs> Beat him in the back of the head. Eight bludgeoning. I'm smashing his head against the stone so, that he's trying so, so desperately. Picture this, if you will. Imagine somebody actually being able to push this massive bull to the side, and as they run past are just clotheslined by this mace, and you see their head go flying like a baseball oh. just oh. over the chasm. As you watch this barbarian immediately try to run past you as well, but more in fear than anything else. Uh, this guy is completely gone. Does the body do um, a backflip when it gets Do you get any more than one reaction or no? No, your reaction spent, right. so I can't okay. react again. So he'll be right there. Um, you then hear uh, the sheriff call out, No one passes! No uh, one hear, passes. You, you hear him calling out like a rallying cry as you hear the sounds of battle behind you. Um, as it seems that there are other gates being broached around the city. Uh, you also begin to hear voices coming from the south, directly to your south, as that commanding voice seems to be getting closer. Um, on your turn, you can make a bonus action perception check if you would like. Okay. Um, so it's my turn now? It is now your turn. I am very preoccupied with this in person who is This individual away. who just somehow got past you. I am going to... I'm going to back all the way up. Mm -hmm. And I am going to stamp my leg on the ground like twice, mm -hmm. lean down my horns with the symbols of tear hanging, and I'm going to do a goring rush. Oh, my goodness. All right, go Let's ahead. Go. Let's go. Get him. Get get How far tear. can you get? So I have to immediately after you use your dash action on your turn and move at least 20 feet, you can make one melee attack with your horns as a bonus action. So I'm going to use my horns, which right. I didn't put in my attacks. So I'm going to roll a d20 plus. Um, gosh, I think it's I'm proficient, so it's plus strength. Uh, 1d8. 
yeah, so it's strength. So it's going to be plus five. So d20 plus five. Sorry, I should add that in. Jesus Louise. Rip and tear. Uh, ni- 19. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, no. And then, oh, plus uh, three. So that's going to be five points of damage as I gore him. What, what would you like to finish him off with? I am going to, f- like, catch him, like, with my horns, flip him in the air, and as he flies back to the ground, I'm going to take my mace and just slam him into the ground with the mace. <laughs> using the momentum and i'm going to stand up and shake my head again and then i'm going to perception check the the commands that i'm hearing just to see how the word lies okay perception you said correct i have clicked out of my character sheet seven times (laughs) 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 i am not used to this okay Jeez, uh, natural Lord. 20. Good Lord. You, somehow you not only hear what he says, but then you translate it into exactly what it would sound like in the Minotaur language and then translate it back just for fun, all while picking up exactly what he says. Good grief. Uh, you hear this man call out, I have a plan for the bull. Breach the walls. Was that uh, my commander you, or was that another voice? That was another voice. Okay. It sounded much more uh, conniving and totally not what I just did because I'm not trying to save stuff for later. Um, (laughs) All right. Uh, You immediately see uh, four individuals, if you can see that far, uh, beginning to rush rush up. uh, But you also hear uh, the sounds of uh, small footsteps off in the distance. Things seem to be calming down to the south. And again, small footsteps. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, so you see these four. They have used their complete movement to move. However, it is now your turn as this gentleman is absolutely obliterated. What would you okay. like to do? It is now your turn again. Well, for my bonus action, I'm going to move my spiritual weapon right here. Okay. And I'm going to have it swing as my bonus action. Do it. Da, 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 da. I keep clicking away. Uh, 16 uh, spiritual absolutely. weapon. Absolutely. And eight force damage. <laughs> You see this man almost get obliterated into paste before your eyes. Okay. I'm that was your bonus to, action. I'm going to move forward back into more of a clear position. I am going to... Hmm, sorry, I'm looking what I got. I am going to... Ca- uh, do I want to throw... No, I'm going to cast Sacred Flame on the, the closest criminal i can this see one right here. yep yeah Absolutely. sneaker flame so it's a uh dexterity saving throw for me mm-hmm. okay dc 12 <sighs> gone you watch as flames erupt on the bridge and this man begins to scream in agony as he burns alive uh both of the people behind them i'm actually gonna roll for this uh you see one of them kind of holding their ground while the other one <laughs> just narratively kind of takes a step back from the flames. I yell out to them and I say, I would let you run away, but that would be compliance. Oof. Ooh. I like Ooh. it, Monty. ruh Taking names. Uh, all right. Is that everything for your turn? That's all I can do for my turn. I'm not moving. I'm staying put. All right. Is that not enough, Bosco? Mm-hmm. I don't mean. Uh, does your spiritual weapon provoke if they run past it? No, it is not an entity that they can attack or hit. It is awesome. a separate thing completely. Uh, you see them stack up, uh, one with a crossbow, the other one pulling out what looks like a bow and arrow, and they're going to take two shots at you. Definitely not getting close. <laughs> hey, I actually hit you. That didn't hit. I hate your AC. This Is this how Remy feels to you? This is how clerics are, dude. Yeah. All right, well, you take a whopping three damage from a arrow as it gets stuck in your neck between your armor, and you're just able to pull it out and throw it to the side. Okay. Um, I... However, give me a free perception check. Free perception check? Correct. I didn't click away from my sheet. Are you proud of me? <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Okay. Uh, seven. Man, these guys are really persistent despite being terrified. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> it is now your turn, though. I look down at the arrow, I turn back and go, aggravated assault. And I'm going to grab my light hammer 
and mm-hmm. I am just gonna spin it like Thor and just fuck, like, just chuck it at the person immediately in front of me. Ooh. Okay. Did it work? I clicked on it. Uh, it's probably just being laggy. There it Nine. is. Nine. That will unfortunately miss. You watch this guy duck out of the way, and the person behind him ducks the other way, and it splits them down the middle and just misses them both. Okay. Uh, spiritual weapon is going to sweep up behind and attack the person behind. Hey. 21. Oh. Too high, Monty. What are you doing? Too bad. Three force damage. Three. Not the best hey, thing. you pummel this guy right in the back. He somehow manages to stay on his feet. But you can hear the crack of his bones from where you're at. Okay. All right. Anything else? That ends my turn. I'm staying right. put. I have my orders. All right. Here we go. Hey, I hit you again. Hooray. I missed you, though. All right. So one attack hits. Okay. It's going to be the long or the normal bow for four damage as you feel another arrow hit almost the exact same spot. Is that archer in the front kind of eyes you up? And unlike the person behind who is almost cowering in fear, they seem to be very stalwart like you are and just continuing to fire shots from here. And that will end their turn. Give me another free perception check. Okay. 16. You notice at the very edge of your vision... What looks to be a small human child walking onto the bridge. Okay. And that is all you see from for right now. It is your turn. Okay. Uh, for my action, <clears throat> I am going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. All right. Just getting rid of my spell token there. Uh, cure Wounds. Uh, for eight. Okay. And bonus okay. action, spiritual weapon, same guy behind. I clicked off on my character sheet. I was doing so well. <laughs> ah, yes. oh. oh, my goodness. I'm so not used to this it. This is your it. dropping dice moment. Uh, right? Moment. Yeah, yeah, literally. Uh, there you are. Spiritual weapon. Ooh, natural one. Oh, Ooh. all right. Let me roll some severity. <sighs> Uh, hey, Monty. Yeah. Uh, your spiritual weapon, as it goes to swing, seems to be dispelled by something. Oh, shit. Okay. I rolled. Mm-hmm. I rolled maximum severity. Okay. Sorry. And it's, it's a okay. spiritual weapon, so I'm like, Ugh, this is uh. all right. Uh, so that was your spiritual weapon and a cure. So that is turn. Yeah, that is turn. All right. Uh, these two are going to take another two pot shots at you. Damn it. Uh, fuck! You see this very confident bowman almost kind of cockily pull out another arrow and fire it at you, and you just bat it away with your mace out of the air as the other one completely misses you. This dude is terrified in the back. Um, however, that human girl that you saw begins to move closer as it starts to approach the two bowmen. What would be the approximate age, if I can tell? It looks maybe eight or nine from what you can tell based on what you know of humans that live in the town. Okay. And that is their turn. All right. Spiritual weapons gone. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Just try to. I have so many. I love playing cast. I know. I have so many There's things. so many things you can do. <laughs> um... What do I do? How do I kill them? I am going to not goring rush, but I'm going to charge the archer. Okay. Uh, and I am going to. Yeah, I'm going to go for a mace attack. Mm-hmm. Bonk on the hand. Now, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> Meaty paste! Don't even roll the damage. How do you want to kill him? Or the. Uh, 13 okay, points how do you want to double kill him? I want to. Uh, I want to... Oh, God, what do I want to do? Oh, my God, I get to play. Oh, my God, this is great. (laughs) I want to uh, hit their head so hard, like almost like a batter swing, that the head knocks off of the neck and lands into the hands of the guy behind the person in front. 
you see him catch it and immediately goes ah! like a hot potato and drops it in front of him. I just snort as like just like steam comes out of the nose as I just stare down the last remaining guy. Uh, I'm gonna pick up my uh, my my hammer that's on the ground that missed. Yep, go for as it. As my bonus action, and yep. that will end my turn. All right. Actually, I'll do that, and then I'll move again, because I think I had enough space to move a second time. Yeah, I did. I'm going to move one space up ahead. Okay. Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. And I will give this to you with advantage, because it's not far from you. 18. Oh, good for the advantage. Yeah. You see this child getting closer, but what you didn't notice before is there's a small floating orb in front of them. Um, it almost looks purplish in nature. If you could imagine, like, glass... And then inside of that, almost like a swirling fog. Um, but what that is, you have no idea. But they seem to be walking forward. Um, as you kind of scare this guy, he kind of backs up. And you notice him bump into the orb and instantly incinerate. Hmm. Ooh, okay. Uh, it is now your turn as this child takes another five foot step. I need to find a token to put on the map. I apologize. This probably won't be appropriate, but where is my pack? This is definitely not appropriate, but it's definitely going to be a bad guy. Boom. All right. Okay. So is, that, is that what they the are? Orb the... Okay. So the orb would be right here uh, and right behind it by five feet as a child. So right here. Okay. Um, so just to give you a general idea of the proximity. So you could see this child is kind of walking forward, hands completely out, and you see this orb directly in front of you. And you watch as this person incinerated the moment they even touched it. And it is now your turn. Uh, you begin to hear laughter from the other side of the bridge. Okay. Uh... Oh god, I don't know what to do. Okay. Oh boy. Um, well. Do I want to? No, I don't want to use. Well. Hmm. Do I want to use that now? No. I'm going to cast uh, Command. Okay. Um, On the little girl. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to say drop in response to the orb. Okay. What level spell is command? Uh, it is a level one spell. Uh, you notice as you throw off your command spell, it instantly doesn't go off as you hear louder laughter from the other side of the bridge. I kind of snort in frustration and I back up and block the entrance again. Oh, that was adorable. Please. Try another spell. Oh, fuck. You have your orders, girl, forward. Okay. For, for a second, I thought that was the little girl, and I was like, whoop. You uh, me too? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely not the little girl. Okay. That is why I promise to in voice. Boy, you've got such so. a mature voice. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? I'd be even more frightened. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah that, uh, that would be like a baby vampire or something. Like, ugh. So, Monty, that was your turn? Um, Action command. Oh, oh, no, I don't have my spiritual weapon. Um, Yeah, that's all I can do for now. Okay. Uh, you will watch as this thing begins to move, or this ore begins to move forward, as so does the, uh, the child. Okay. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. All right, so here's what's going to happen. As this thing begins to get closer to you, uh, you hear your sheriff call out, Nothing crosses the bridge! I snort, and I just kind of... I, I kind of regain my composure, and I um, narrow as my it eyes. Gets, as it gets within five feet of you, Monty, as a reaction, I will let you throw your mace to disable what's controlling the orb. I am gonna throw my uh, I'm gonna throw my light hammer. Okay. Because I picked that up. Fifteen. That's gonna hit. Can I go non-lethal? Uh, with with a mace being thrown at someone, unfortunately not. S sorry, kids. Law. It's your it's oh, your call. Jesus. 
Six bludgeoning. I would try to aim for the head just to knock her out, but four. Yeah. Uh, you 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 watch as you throw your mace and absolutely clean cut the kid's head off as oh, the no. orb drops, and you watch it burn a hole in the actual bridge and fall through. Whoa. Okay. You begin to hear a mad cackle from the end of the bridge. <laughs> Ethan, when you win, you lose. <laughs> I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Boss, you killed 14. a child. <laughs> Amazing. Mission complete. Mission complete, boss. Uh, 14. Monty, with, with a 14, you instantly watch the world around you begin to fade away and become dark. And that's where we're going to pause you. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, all right. Boy, we're having fun, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Oh my Curse God. my character flaw. I'm shaking my fist right now. Like, Monty, <laughs> I had to play for you. Sorry. I, I appreciate Asshole. you for doing what you built. Yeah. Yeah. If it makes you feel better, there were other ways to do that. Great, thanks, Bosco. Keep going. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, twist the knife while you stab her. Yeah, sorry. All right. Um, all right. So, having said that, and ruined Monty's day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, Theropod, have have you seen enough? Are you are you feeling confident? Let's fucking go. Yeah, that's what I like Let's to hear. Do it. Just, so Just you, my, yeah. you, my friend, uh, treasure hunter extraordinaire, are actually not oh. hunting treasure, but a friend today. Are you ready? Okay, all right. So as a as a resident bounty hunter, mercenary, slash steal things to sell them off to make money kind of a person, you mm -hmm. have traversed many, many a dark dungeon. And you have made a couple of companions. I hesitate to call them friends considering your occupation, but people that you would consider comrades and that you've done jobs before and with. However, one of them has gone missing. Someone very co close to you. His name is Gis Hath, and he's this very large reptilian creature who you have no idea how he got into the treasure hunting business or the mercenary business, but this is a mammoth man. Subtlety is not something that he does well, but boy, if you are going to stop him from getting what he wants. It is uncharacteristic for Gish Hath to have been gone this long. And so you have set out on a quest to figure out what happened to him. So you have traversed to his last known location an underground ruined tomb. And that is where we start your adventure. Okay. So, let's move everybody over. Black, uh, black screen. Pardon the, pardon the temporary blackness as we bring the camera into focus. Because we have, uh, we have a camera crew. <laughs> All right. Can you see Wallfly? Yes, I can. Excellent. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and help you out. Now, the first thing you'll notice you tra traverse down here is not that uh, not that it's just a creepy tomb, but the fact that you can't see, I don't believe, in the darkness, can you? Nope, no dark vision. <laughs> so uh, this is what oh, you, you see right boy. now. This is what you, I mean, it's not what the audience sees, but you don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. You. The last thing you remember is you came down some stairs and walked into darkness. Uh, I think I might have a torch oh i hope you have a torch i have do you have an explorer's pack i have five candles i i got the the smuggler like bandit pack okay candles. candles would technically work if you have something to put them in i don't have one of those candle holders uh oh a hooded lantern there you go. That would work. Yeah, yeah. I will allow you to makeshift light out of that. Uh, what yeah. is the range on a candle? Is it the same as a torch? I assume not. I, I would. I don't know. I'd say Let me maybe check real quick. ten candle. feet. Tops. I think a hooded lantern is, is torch is uh, twenty feet bright light and twenty additional feet dim light. A candle yeah, is five feet bright light and an additional five feet of dim light. So we're going to candle... give you ten because we're going to give you okay. ten because you're makeshifting it in a lantern. So okay. that will help you out. So mm -hmm. now you should be able to see with a little bit of light. Um, you don't have night vision. Hang on. Where is the brightness? There it is. Boom. 
Uh, nothing changed. Lies and slander. That's my thing. You can't take that from me. <laughs> how about how about now? Dude, I still like I see the same stuff like like I can see like to the end of this hallway, but I think that's wallfly. Uh let's move wallfly out of the way. How about now? I nope. <laughs> I just Don't see nothing. stairs. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah, you have to move. <laughs> yes. Oh, so it, it would help if dynamic. I move my character. Yeah, it'll it moves with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so okay. uh, as as you walk down the stairs, I will actually have Wallfly uh, follow you. Okay. Kind of. I don't want to give away too much, but uh, as you kind of traverse down these stairs, you have found yourself in a labyrinth of a tomb. It is. There is no way to tell what's up and down other than the, the walls that surround you. All right. Uh, but just for the audience, um, Ray Cool to go. Yes, please tell them what you look work. like because no one's yeah. seeing you down here. Yeah. So in the darkness stands a figure that's uh, about like not, not as tall as like most Saurians. He's about like five foot, like six or seven. So he's not the biggest dude. Um, He's wearing a very nice uh, leather coat with a very fluffy internal trim that he totally didn't steal. It's his. He got it fair and square in, in a very legal game of cards. Totally, totally didn't take it. Um, he's got a very slight underbite with his big, like, raptor jaw just loaded with sharp teeth. And um, he's got a big, like, sort of unicorn-style horn off the top of his head and a bright orange crest going down his neck. And he's just, besides the hooded lantern, there's just a tiny little smidge of light coming off the cigar that he's currently smoking as well. He's also got garishly green pants and shoes on. And for the folks watching at home, uh, as you have kind of come down these stairs and you kind of begin to see what the crypt looks like, it. If stone could rot, that's what this place would look like. There are mm -hmm. pieces of concrete or stone or whatever was used to construct this particular tomb lying everywhere. It looks like it's slowly falling apart. And the fact that it's able to support the weight above it is a small miracle. But it definitely looks like the place somebody would stash a hidden treasure. Okay. D derelict tomb. No biggie. Yeah. I'm there, done that. Not my first radio. Uh, I would first like to stealth just so I can just be quiet and just All right. so no, nothing nothing gets the drop on me, so. Do it, do it. 13? That is a stealth check. So yes, it thus is. far you, you are, you seem to be moving silently along the rubble. So can I go like this way? You can move whichever way you want. I will okay. follow you. Okay. Oh God, there's a fork. Hmm. There's a fork hmm. in the road. Uh, yeah, we can't see on the. There we go. Okay. Yeah, wall, wall fly. You wanna, you wanna have wall fly right next to him. Okay. Mm -hmm. It might give you some extra light, but consider it a gift. Okay. How generous. Stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with fly. me, my fly brethren. Uh, we shall eeny, traverse this together. Meeny, miny. I pick this way. Excellent. This is a choice I have made. This is a choice. To the right, you're taking made. the path to the right. Yep, yep. So for those of you uh, watching at home that are maybe on the podcast, uh, Theropod has come up to a fork of the road. It seems to be two long corridors, and he has picked the first of two to traverse. Seems like a very long hallway. Um, am I hearing anything? Am I, like, is anything... You're really silent. In fact, thank you for reminding me. Uh, oh, you oh, actually no. hear... Yeah, no, sorry, buddy. I have music okay. picked out specifically for everybody. Uh, cool. That is not the right one, though. It is this one. There it is. Ray's Dungeon. Oh, oh thank you for that. Uh, hopefully the volume is good, Monty. Uh, my end, it sounds good, so we should be okay cool. on Wallfly. Sweet. Let me, let me just... Oh, now I'm hearing it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so uh, I get to about here. What is What is this? It's like a uh, as you begin to move forward, you see what seems to be stairs leading back up. This seems to be another entrance into the cavern. To a different cavern? 
Uh, no, to this one. It looks like a different entry point into the same tomb that you're in. So oh, okay. presumably if you were to go back up, it would take you back to somewhere where you either came from or just another way into this tomb, but it wouldn't take you any deeper into it. Okay. So then I'll go backwards. Come with me, little wallfly. Come with me if you want to buzz. <laughs> All right, so now just going this way. Oh, choices. Hmm. I went right last, last time. Let's go left. Do, do, do. Give me one second. I need to refresh. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Because the audio apparently is not working. No. Get it wall, together, Wallfly. Wall Wallfly, speak to me. Wallfly? People are saying, people are saying there's, there's no music and no ambience. There's no music, but there is ambient sound. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I can hear it now. Okay. Okay. The music is ambient sounds. So. Yeah, it's just ambient. It's not actual music. Um, mm. I get to hear and like just not go into the room, but kind of like just lean my head out and kind of just do a quick Give like one eighty. Check. One eighty. Look around. Yeah. Uh, perception. Perception. Five on both sides. It's a room. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Just just looks around, looks up at the ceiling, just. Mm. It's a room. Uh, you do see a wall in the back, uh, and from here you can't really see anything else. Uh, but I need to do a separate perception for like detecting traps at all, or uh, yes, yeah, okay. It's like trip wires or pressure plates and stuff. Yeah, so that would be that would be a perception check against the traps DC if there was one. Okay, so I was looking at the room now for traps. Uh, twelve and a third, twelve. Uh, there are no traps that you can see. Okay. Uh, and step in the room. It is a square room. As you step forward, it seems like a crypt of some kind. There seem to be various markings on the wall, and you can see almost like carved out rectangular shapes where it looks like something could be pushed in and sealed in. You can safely assume that these are probably tombs of some kind. Probably not important because they're kind of in an off section. Mm. down immediately near the entrance. So probably if this is a family tomb, these people weren't that important. Mm. Mm. So like they're like caskets inlet into like the walls basically? Yeah, so if you can imagine there being like a stone plate that's probably covering whatever was buried inside of it. Almost like if you're okay. at a morgue and you pull out uh, one of those beds. Uh can't make an omelet without cracking a few eggs. Uh, I do have a crowbar. <laughs> Back uh -oh. up one of these guys open. You could attempt to. I don't know if I have to like. Ah, uh, that's crowbar. a strength check. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, strength. Uh... What? <laughs> Three. <laughs> that is. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's that's stone, buddy. Uh, with your I legs. Believe, I, I believe if you're using the crowbar, you have advantage when opening doors. Oh, oh do you? Oh, well, there you go. So a 12. So as you, you still, you're trying to, it, it seems like you're, you're making a little bit of wiggle room, but you could be here all day trying to open these. Okay. Well, can't take it all. Nope. Uh, uh well, give me just, another perception check. Oh no. Six. You hear a sound. It's hard to pinpoint where, but it's definitely back the way you came. It sounds like stone being moved. And okay. you, you're basically what you're catching is the very faint end of an echo of that sound. Okay. Uh, can I... Just, um, can I... Um, can I roll hide check where I am right now and just kind of stay for like a, a good like minute just listening? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll allow you to take 10 on a listen check. As you listen closer, it definitely sounds like something is moving around deeper in the cavern. Okay. I'm gonna pull out a uh, kukri. Flavored as a short sword, but flavored as a kukri. Big, big fuck off choppy knife. Just slowly. Basically, what the sniper uses in TF2. 
and just slowly inch forward. And I will follow you. Mm -hmm. Buzz. <laughs> Warfly is like, I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. <laughs> <laughs> Anything around here that I see? The sort of crossroads. Uh, give me another. Give me a. Give me. A, are you looking for something specific? Or are you looking to check uh, the traps? Just, or? just, just in general, just like any. Is the coast clear, basically? Uh, give me a perception check. Oh boy. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, looking straight down this hallway, uh, as far as your light will allow you to see, you can't see any silhouettes of people or anything like that. Okay. Oh, keep moving forward. Just, uh, gonna... All right. As, as soon as you... Oh, hold on. As soon as you oh, step oh, here, oh, oh. give me a dexterity, dexterity standing. Oh, no. Uh, yoink. Our team. All right. Let's see. Uh, as you seem to step forward, uh, you notice... Uh, underneath you, I need to get underneath you. Uh, you notice what looks to be like a plate with a design on it, uh, mm. and you feel it press oh. in as you step forward, and you feel a dart shoot out of the wall and into your scales as you take five piercing damage. Damn! Uh, if you would like, you are welcome to inspect the trap. Uh, sure. Uh, investigation? Yes, please. 16. Nice. So yeah. you've made some traps in your day. This one looks like it was placed here and wasn't part of the original construction of the tomb. Hmm. Oh, how dusty does it look? Mmm... -mm. With a 16, it looks like it's got some dust on it, but when you compare it to the slabs of the pathway before and after it, it absolutely stands out now that you're taking a closer look at it. And you're actually kind of annoyed at yourself for not noticing it. <sighs> Come on. Come on, Ray. Keep it together. And you just... Or now, just... So I can see 20 feet down still. Um, mm -hmm. Just... I'm just going to... Do I need to roll a perception for every 20 feet? Or should uh, I... I? I will allow you to roll a perception check for the rest of this hallway. So basically down to yeah. the end of it. Yeah. Okay. Dean? Uh, you are fairly confident that there doesn't appear to be any slabs that you can notice that look similar to this one. Okay. And I'm just going to just tiptoe like, like the Grinch stealing Christmas. Just tiptoeing through. <laughs> Which way will he go? Uh, there's another room there. And what happened then? <laughs> Don't worry. By the end of this campaign, my heart's going to grow three times its size. It's going to shrivel three times I hope not. smaller. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I feel like that might be an arrhythmia of some kind. Mm -hmm. uh, just take a quick uh, peek down um, this way. Do I see anything? Uh, not that you can see around the corner. Okay. It was pretty oh. clear. Oh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I'm gonna go back and check out, I guess, this room. Give me a perception check. Oh boy. Oh, 20? Or it was 20. Uh, you are very thankful that you rolled that perception oh. check. Did you notice another plate directly in front of you? Um, mm. as you kind of dust it off without pressing down on it. It seems to have a marking uh, that is red, and you are welcome to uh, give me an Arcana check, as it looks to be some kind of sigil. I got a whopping plus zero. D ten. You've seen enough of these traps, and it's a basic enough spell where it looks like this is some kind of uh, burning hand spell. Ooh. Mm. I, I'm not a, not a fan of that. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Uh, Spicy time. Yeah, no, no. Uh, can I step over it, or is it kind of like encompassing the entire like? You would have to like, jump over it, but if you want with your uh, twenty-one, it seems that this is another one of those tombs that you saw before. 
And based on how you heard the sound, if it were to echo from this point, probably wouldn't have been that soft. I am so sorry. I just punched my mic. Why would you do <laughs> that? Mark. It was an accident. Nice. I got oh, big oh, want to check sorry. if it was booby trapped. Yeah. yeah. You never know. <laughs> A so mic mimic. Fine. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I will give you give me another perception check from where you're standing right now. Okay. Right. <laughs> this, this time you kind of wait for it and listen very intently. You hear the sounds of moving rubble, grunting, and something being pulled against stone from much deeper. It, it seems like if you were to make this right and go straight down, that's where it's reverberating from. Okay. So basically this direction, yeah? Correct. Hmm. I'm probably pinging the darkness, but you would guess from somewhere down oh. here. Oh, okay, yeah, I see I see the pings. Yeah. Ooh, how much of a scumbag do I want to be? Uh, uh can I move here? And I want to kind of just crouch down and kind of prepare an action with my knife, mm -hmm. where the second somebody turns that corner, I want my big choppy knife to like go to their throat, basically. Okay. You, like you wait a couple of minutes. So you're basically you're waiting for them to turn the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you sit there and you kind of wait for a minute or two, you continue to hear those grunting and stone sounds from deeper in, but it doesn't sound like it's moving towards you. It sounds like it's whatever's being done is in a stationary position. Huh. All right, just stay put for a second. I'm going to go back here. How do you disarm a trap in 5e? I've never uh, played basically a you have to uh, You have to roll against it. I think it's thieves' tools. You can use your thieves' tools to disarm traps. OK. Yeah. Uh, I do have a thing, or um, hope I work. I hope this works. Oop. Yeah, so I have expertise, and I chose thieves' tools and sleight of hand. Excellent. So then I click the thieves' tools. Eighteen. You are nice. able to. It looks like you basically use your crowbar to kind of pry up the uh, the loose stone and flip it over, uh, mm -hmm. negating the effect. Okie dokie. Uh, Ray Cool will just step in and look around, I guess. Yep. Looks like another one of those uh, tombs from before. Are these having pillars in the center of them to kind of support them. Uh, awesome. It looks a little bit more decorative than the one you were just in, but again. Wallfly. Wallfly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Wallfly, doesn't it? Sorry about that. I keep forgetting Ladies I'm the cameraman. Room. Yeah. Hey, uh, you're these, these I've been trying life. to help when I'm paying attention, but I. Yeah. I'm sorry, I glazed over. Uh, so you see these four pillars kind of holding everything up. The room definitely does look a little bit fancier than the one you were in before. So you're, I hate to say it, but it seems like you're slowly moving up the rank of importance in the family. Ah. But again, it seems to still be tombs in here. You do notice that this one had a trap protecting it, which means this is probably a more prestigious room, but probably not what you're looking for. Mm. All right. Stay close, Wallfly. Buzz. <laughs> Honor, Honor, do your wallfly impression. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought and, it was uh, actually a fly in my ear for a second. <laughs> I can't believe that you found And I, I guess I just slowly start. Oh, that's a lot of. I don't know if I'm supposed to see that far. Eh. I, yeah. I have to bring wallfly there for the viewers. <sighs> yeah. Kind of ruins the darkness, but okay. Anyway. I just slowly start making my way downtown. Making my way down Yay. here. Looking uh, around. Fast. Per perceiving for traps while I'm doing it. Okay, I'm perceiving jack shit. You don't see any traps. Yeah, no, 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 no traps at all. What the fuck are traps? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Um, how far do I get before I fucking just, just step on something? That's a great question. Uh, I'll tell you what, roll me another that first of all you roll persuasion, so roll me actual perception. Oh, oh. so that might save you. Okay. <laughs> it's the greatest trap of all. There are the no trap. traps. <laughs> the yeah. trap was your notice, mind. So as you're moving, you notice a very crude trap directly in front of you, almost like somebody had just thrown it there willy-nilly style. Like they had just set this up. 
Like, I'm, I'm, am Rick, I supposed to see that brick? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rick will puts his hands on his hips, just like, what the? Who the? F <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like it was even attempted to be like put into the the stone properly. It's definitely a pressure sensor, but it was not properly put in. Hmm. Is it a trap? It's absolutely a trap. You you would yeah. you would assume that it's probably pressure sensitive. So if you were to step on it, you're more than welcome to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think, I think I'm good. Uh, I will. Hmm. See, there's a little path that way. Mm -hmm. uh, and you heard the sound coming from down here. Want to investigate that sound? So do yeah. I have to? Do I have to jump over this guy? Yeah, give me an athletics check, but you're only jumping five feet, so. Try not to roll a one. Can I do acrobatics? Sure. Yoink. Yep, Dang. you're good. Yoink. A little just yeep. Alley -oop. Oh no, wallfly. Wallfly takes six damage. Uh -oh. Wallfly, no. <laughs> uh, I, hate, I hate to break it to you, but wallfly has uh 572 health, so good luck. And 700 AC, so That's you're not. A lot of health. He's, he's a level 20 well, Oathbreaker Paladin. Well, just, well, okay. Wallfly's health is the exactly the same amount of people who are in chat right now. Okay. Exactly. 810. You heard him, Jeez. folks. Don't leave chat or Wallfly will die. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that on your conscience, so. Yeah. Uh, peek my head out here, like, both ways. Do I see anything? Uh, nope, but give me a perception check if you want to look intently. A dinosaur eyes. A ten. Ten? Don't see anything. Mm. Mm. Okay. Which way is the scraping coming from? Uh, if from your position, it'd be over here. Okay. I want to see what all the hubbub's about. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Ray. Yeah. Did I step on a trap? Could you, uh, could you give me a deck save right there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> womp womp. Bum, 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 bum. 19. Oh, uh, hey. You hear that familiar sound of something opening and about to shoot as you jump forward and you watch a dart fly out and try to hit you. Oh my god, I am just off my rocker today. I'm so sloppy. Oh. Uh, you notice when it hits the wall, there's a little bit of a sizzle to it. Cool. I'm glad that didn't hit me. <laughs> All right. Uh, I peer into this room. This really big room. All right. Would you like to roll a perception check in the room? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Let's find uh, out if this room is also a room. Yeah. Uh, 17. Having just dodged that particular trap and the way that you know these traps are typically laid out, you are fairly confident that was the one that was meant to make sure you don't get in this room. So getting in here is probably safe from what you can tell, assuming it's not, you know, designed to kill you at every turn. Hmm. Okay. Um, step in. What do, what do I see? Uh, you notice as you walk into what looks like a, a giant, almost... Uh, cathedral-like area, you notice various stairs that leave, uh, lead up to, to platforms uh, potentially where people could either sit or stand. And you notice in the bottom part of the room, there is a slab with something etched into stone. What it is, you can't really tell, but you do see that slab of stone in between two of the mm. pillars. Totally unfamiliar to me? Totally unfamiliar to you. Hmm. Mm. Any um, sarcophaguses or or coffins or? or uh, give me another perception check. And people bits. 18. 18, nice. So as you begin to investigate, Wolfly, come here. I'm going to use you. Uh, you notice a little pathway <laughs> that leads down into what you can assume is probably the more extravagant tombs for this particular structure. Mm -hmm. However, on top of that, you also hear those noises again as you hear the pulling of stone, grunting, and then everything stops very abruptly. Mm 
Oh, that can't be good. Mm. And it's and the sound was coming from here, and then it just cut out. Yeah, it's coming from down here. All right. Uh, so you saw that long hallway. It's from somewhere down there. Yeah. Oh. Gonna get right here in perception for traps. Go um, ahead. Because I don't want to. Are you paranoid yet? A little bit, a little bit, it's a smidge, it's just a smidge paranoid. Um, uh, you do not sense any traps. Okay. All right. uh, I guess I just methodically tiptoe forward. All right. Uh, you notice a tomb entrance to your left and to your right. Eeny, <sighs> meeny, uh, this way. Left right. or right? Uh, my, his left. Okay. Got it. So ducking into the left one. All right. Uh, you seem uh, see another tomb room. This one a lot smaller, and it seems that there are a lot less people actually buried in here. From what you can gather, this is probably where the heads of the household or people very important throughout the family's lineage are buried. Uh, from here, that's pretty much all you can tell. You are also fairly confident that this is not trapped, though you're not a hundred percent sure. Okay. Uh, are we using my last perception for that, or yes? Okay, so I kind of just gotta. Right, uh, I assume this is like where big that that looks thing... to be where like somebody of great import. Yes, that's a at the very end of the room. You see what looks like a monument, uh, definitely with somebody's face etched into it. You don't recognize it at all. Not that you ever really pay attention to who's in here, just what they have. Does it look like if I cracked it open with a crowbar, there'd be shinies in it? Potentially. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go straight towards it. I'm gonna go around a C C shape, and uh, just like winding up for a home run swing, just wedges the crowbar in there and starts uh, looting and because because fuck these people. Mm -hmm. I don't know them. 14. Or would it be uh, a strength check? Not a save. Uh, it would be a check, but is it, it'd still be a zero, right? Yeah, yeah, it'd still be a zero. Yeah, so it'd be oh, the same, so I'll let you write that. Okay, With okay, a 14, okay. you begin to try to pry open this particular monument to see if there's any way to kind of jar it loose or get into where the actual tomb is. And as you do, you hear the sounds of footsteps running behind you. Oh. Towards this direction. <laughs> Give me a perception check. As he does this, just dual-wheeled Kukri's just out, just like... Whoo. Uh-oh. Uh, right out of the jacket. Uh, like, Wallfly! Wallfly? Oh. Wallfly's He's dead! Thing. Oh, wolf. <laughs> Jesus. Wallfly, why? Wallfly's, wolf, Wallfly's coming wall. at him with a great sword. <laughs> He's got a sword. He's got a hammer. <laughs> I can't believe Wallfly has Wolf. a sword. Weapon in each leg. Good. Uh, ten? So, yeah, ten. ten you perception. absolutely heard somebody run by you, and just based on quickly picking it up, they were probably running back towards that big room. Okay. Uh, there's no way I'm getting this thing open, though, huh? I mean, you could keep trying unless you want to investigate the noise. It's totally your call. Hmm. I can't have other people taking all the stuff in here, so he's... <laughs> Big fuck off knives. He's just gonna move forward and just try to find who's making all the racket. All right, Wallfly uh, will follow you. Perception for traps, cause I'm got to do it every twenty uh, you feet. Would know, you would know the big room is back this way. Oh, Which they went really that way. Run. Yeah, you oh. heard them running towards the big room. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, and as soon as you get there. Wallfly, mm -hmm. camera, positions, please. Thank you. Uh, you noticed somebody at the dais. Okay. Uh, that was not there before, as they kind of quickly snapped their head to you. What? How? Who? Who are you? Uh, uh, hello there, friend. Uh, what you got there? I don't believe that's any of your business. What are you? Why are you here? 
Oh, you know, I, I, I was in a hotel recently. I saw a nice pamphlet for a derelict, grimy, swampy dungeon. And, you know, I just had to check it out. Rachel's leaning against the wall kind of smugly. Uh, dinosaurs. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you a piece of advice. Do not mess with my job. Oh, you can ask the job? last one of you that tried to do that. Okay, uh, uh, what's your job, though? Oh, I know not to interfere. You see her pull out her crossbow. Let me uh, remind you of who I am. I am the greatest thief this realm has ever seen. And if Gish had thought he was going to take my bounty, well, I sent him to an early afterlife. What I'm after is my business and my business alone. Uh, so walk out. She, she just confirmed that she killed him, right? Yep. Sure did. You haven't seen uh, a body, but sure did. Uh... A thrown, would a thrown knife be an improvised weapon? Uh, do you have persist it'd be, persist it'd, it, It's just be uh, a dagger. Dagger. It'd be like a, a dagger, so I would give it okay. to you. Okay. Uh, well, let me think. Not gonna attack yet. Oh, really? You killed Gishath, huh? Uh, how would somebody as a uh, what 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 do they look like? Uh, they look like some kind of rogue with human-esque features. You can't really see the ears, so it's hard to tell if they're elf-like or anything like that. Um, right? If does does they, do they seem like they're on like a just the itchiest trigger finger or would they, like... they? They seem like they thought they got rid of the threat and nobody else was supposed to be here. This is unexpected. Oh, well, that's 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 just really peculiar because. No offense, somebody as scrawny as you taking out Gishath, that's a little that's a little sus <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> oh no, you misunderstand. They came down here with um oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, a couple arrows short of a full quiver. I didn't need to do anything but let them walk over the wrong particular stone. Hmm. And as you think back, there have been numerous both magical and mundane traps. Mm. If this person set the right trap and your boneheaded buddy walked over it, it's possible that that, that happened. And uh, question, was he that way? Pointing, like, this direction, jabbing a thumb that way, or, Which or somewhere else? Left, left or right? From your uh, left. I'm, I'm pinging it. Well, I believe I heard the explosion from deep down the hall. You should go investigate. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll go investigate. But first, uh, uh your job. What? What is that exactly? What are you doing here, if you don't mind me asking? You ask a lot of questions for a thief. Uh, you know. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go investigate that, and I'll finish up what I was doing. And you see this person put their hands on the stone slab, and it begins to come to life. Uh, <laughs> it's a long shot, but knowledge arcana for me Go to figure out. Yeah, I have plus zero, so a 10. Uh, boy, that's some glowy stuff. Oh, no, not glowy stuff. I yeah. don't like that glowy stuff. Hmm. All right, sit, 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 sit tight, Bumpkin. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna walk back. Uh, as you begin to move, you hear something go off in the other room. And as you turn to look exactly what happened, you notice the person is gone as the circle seems to be glowing blue. Just, Ray Cole just leans out backwards, just like with his head poking out of the hallway, just like, what the fuck? Give me, give me another perception check. Oh dear. Mm. So just for clarification, the person who is <sighs> glowing stuff just disappeared. They just disappeared. The person yeah. who activated that circle is now not there when he turned his back. Yeah. Okay. 
And that was a um, nat one on that. That's a nat show. one on perception. Oh. You don't know where the hell they went. <laughs> Rachel just, just like, <sighs> just blows out a ton of smoke. I was going to steal all their shit. God damn it. <sighs> um, throwing. Wall flight. Oh, 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 ah! Buzz, I was about to grab it. <laughs> I'm so sorry I forgot you. Um, kind of throwing caution to the wind, I guess. Uh, Rakel's just going to call out, um, Gishath? Gishath, hello? Did you hear anything? your voice echo around. <sighs> Shit. Give me another perception check. Oh, boy. Ugh, this is not the time to be rolling bad. No, it is not. Uh, it's gotten colder, though. You're not sure why. Hmm. Right, so uh, I'm going to just quickly peer in this room. Anything? Nope, not that you can see. It looks like another tomb. All right. I'm, I'm not looking for loot quite yet. Yep. Uh, perceiving for traps. Oh. Go for it. Five. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, just. Oh, yeah, it'll be great. Yeah. Another fork in the road. A check here. Uh, as you enter this one, give me a Constitution saving throw. Oh, fucky wucky. Twenty one. Um. As you start to try to focus in to see if you see anything in here, you begin to see double vision. And you're not exactly sure why, but you're able to shake it off. Give me a perception check. <sighs> this time with advantage. Another 21. That, <laughs> lucky <sighs> advantage. As hey, thank you, kind you. Of look down, you notice that a fog has crept in along the floor. I'll fly. Was that you? No. Connor, <laughs> yeah. Did that fly just start? <laughs> Wait, Connor. Now's the perfect time. You know what to do. No, I'll no, it. no, 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 no. Uh, give me another <laughs> con save. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Damn it. I hate you, Connor. I love uh, you, Connor. That's for you, Austin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another perception? Yes, sir. 17. Okay. Uh, you notice the fog beginning to rise up towards your knee, and then as you look towards the other crypt, you see a body. Oh, shit. Is the body familiar? Yeah. Um, I'm caution to the wind, immediately running towards it. Uh, is it in this tomb or th this the tomb. south one? Oh. Runs to it. Uh, as you run in, you feel yourself press on a plate, but it doesn't seem to activate. And as you look back, it looks like whatever magical effect was on here it has dissipated and been used. Oh, shit, come on, you big idiot. You've handled worse. Like, I guess, like, kind of like give, shifting give, them over. Give me a medicine check. Uh, <laughs> 10. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, as as you kind of get closer, you can smell uh, what can best be described as burnt flesh. And as uh, you look back towards the sigil, you see an inscription similar to what you saw before, but slightly different, indicating probably a similar type of element, but much more powerful. Uh, Raikul's gonna be shaking with rage, um, just, just vibrating angrily, like, like, he's got, um, claws on his, on his, um, fingers, and he's clenching his fists so hard, they're drawing blood. Like, he's... As you do that, give me another constitution saving throw. Okay. Five. As you feel the rage kind of welling up in you, you can feel yourself starting to block out the world as everything starts to go black. Cool. 
and that's where I'm going to pause you. Ooh. Hey, Connor. That's me. That's you. Are you ready? Uh, if I wasn't at this point. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm you, impressed uh, he's advantage. still here. It's true. Uh, Oi. All right. Hmm. I'm awake. Man. Don't worry. Let's can, let's can we take a over. quick a quick bio break? Would it be possible? Yeah, Bosco for us to take yeah, a break. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Thank you. Go for it. Thank you so much. No worries. Bathroom breaks are good. Hi guys. In let me meantime, switch over to chat. Enjoy this black screen. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm really hungry. <laughs> Murder makes me hungry. Apparently, it's already nine o'clock. I am blown away. Oh, I guess my, yeah. Sorry. My food is six minutes away. I can't wait. Is chat liking this so here. far? I don't know. We're going to see. <laughs> I have to post my notes on Twitter because they're really funny. Well, not uh -oh. funny. They're just like, I like have the forest and then the lake. And it said, oops, I murdered a child. <laughs> and then the drawing of my character, <laughs> like, like with yeah, sweat so marks going, uh-oh. If, if you can't tell session one, and Mark, you've done this before. Session yeah. one is kind of like my session zero. I like to run people through what the setting is going to be. And so you've kind of seen various ways that a dungeon can kill you, the decisions you're going to have to make, and it's like, uh, and it kind of sets the stage for what's to come. So, It's really interesting because yeah. thinking about the other character I had in Ravenloft, Bulith, like Bulith would be like crying on the floor. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Where also, is, I hope, you, where I, is I hope you guys don't I'm mind back. watching around, but I wanted to think of a creative way to get you guys all together. Yeah, no, this and, is yeah, cool. No, well. I, nice I think this is great. It's nice mysterious. thing is, um, if people are hopping in, they're just like, oh, they're kind of experiencing as the player is, too. Anyway, I'm yep. going to grab something to eat. I will be right back. Do it. Go for it. I will uh, I will sit here. I, it's I, terrible. I, I hate it. Can we go till 5 I feel so bad. I feel, I feel like I haven't brought anything interesting so far. No, what hey, are you so, talking about? Uh, you, honestly, you so I really like what you did. Like, you were you, also, you're like one of the few people that was suspicious of what was going on, which I liked. To be yeah. fair, I didn't have much time to be suspicious. I was attacked by trees. No, no, no. I'm not. That wasn't oh, directed specifically at you. The trees have learned violence. I, I, I can't I, believe this is what happens when you take the sapling out of tree school. Also, uh, I... Tree school. Seeing, seeing how combat is sort of deadly, I was like, eh, maybe I shouldn't swing at this lady. Or I, I actually don't know. I don't know if it was uh, a lady So that's kind of the cool thing about Ravenloft is there's a lot of stuff that can kill you. And as you saw with Mark, he was like, you know what? I'm I'm out. There's, yep. <laughs> is there a way for me to get out? I'm out. Which is smart. Like I didn't I actually didn't expect him to run away. I thought he would try to to try to take him out. Please. But like that, that's totally after 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 my several experiences of Ravenoff being like, I can take this, immediately being followed by please turn in your character oh. sheet. You thought I was gonna try and fight those things. Uh Burnout Vaughn with a hundred bits saying Bosco, me, Zako, Bob, Grizz, and Citric had a pool going for the first death with TPK at 25 to 1. We had Mark at 30 to 1 odds and nearly swept the pot in the first <laughs> 10 minutes. Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad that people are already voting against me to just oh die God. instantly. Thank you for that. Yeah. Very kind Gamma of you. Leo, thank you for the five tier one subs. We've got Disco Tech Priest with 400 bits. DM'd Cursed of Strahd. For some of my friends, my wife's half drow necromancer saw a vision of her parents hung and labeled monsters. When she blinked, they were gone. Things wow. got worse from there. Welcome to Ravenloft. I mean, yeah. I uh, we've say, got anything I can do to help people win money. I'm, I'm we've all got 200 it. bits and some change from Zonwind. So far, no one dead. Good luck with the rest of the session. I appreciate that. I always get terrified because I saw how many people we started with. And then I looked at the number. I'm like, oh, no, we're lost so many. All right, it's been two hours. Yeah. We're going to sleep. <laughs> the East Coast people all went to bed. Yeah. It's fine. We'll catch y'all in the VOD. It's cool. It's true. S sleep Sleep is more important. I always tell people, like, if, okay. if you're if you're missing out on sleep because of my stream, go go to sleep. I, yeah, I, boss. I'm, go. I'm going to uh, – I'm, I'm going to go ahead and call myself out. I did look at – I'm looking at the chat right now, just the chat alone. Uh -huh. Someone said, what's my race? Oh, I didn't get to that yet. You'll find out. Yeah, it's true. I said yeah, describe I your character. You can say what so you want to be if you want, but Oh no, I, yeah. I didn't say the race yet. I, I didn't want to force them to reveal more than they wanted to. Zito and I are on team mysterious until you absolutely need to it's know. It's true. There is so much homebrew in this right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm like everybody who asks me is like, so what do you think of homebrew? Hey, I, can I homebrew this? Hey, can I be this? Is that homebrew? Yeah. O oops, all furries. No, it's all furries too, yeah. No. I'm it's not, bro, I told you, I had like a bunch furry. of things I could have picked from, and I was just like, um, eh, whatever. 
Uh, I've gone Basco, out of my way I find to it say my funny that people think Ravenloft is the hard game. Look up Dark Sun, where the book says make three oh, characters God. at level three. Oh, Ooh. Dark Sun. Oh, Dark Sun. Oh, Dark, Sun. Oh, Dark Sun sounds awful. Not allowed. Dark Sun's the There's best. Also, what's the one that's like the Alice in Wonderland adventure? That's just Wonderland. Like absurd. It is, is called, yeah. it called yeah. Wonderland. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I know what those two are about. I've desperately wanted to play those. Wonderland is where you go when you're not looking to have fun, but just want to experience nothing but nonstop stress for eight hours. Oh, God. Uh, Arbiter Valu with 100 bits. Oh. Get the bad rolls out of the way now, hopefully. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. We've got Mr. Pockets 150. The researcher super sus. They must have turned on the mist, and they can see it in the dark. 5,000 bits. Interesting. They We've in got base? I'm a ninja with 100 bits. I have a joke for Ed. Why do sharks swim in salt water? Because pepper water makes them sneeze. Uh, I'll allow it. Yeah, no, damn it. Two. Uh, Burnout Vaughn with 100 bits. Bosco, there could always be more homebrew. Don't worry, I'm waiting for Mark to try to do blood magic. I'm ready. Uh, Blackfoot Fair with the lead bits. Stories within stories. I'm hyped for Mega Story Zord. Mega Story nice. Zord. Mega Story Zord. Oh. I'll take it. And thank you for everybody that popped by at the beginning, and thank you to everybody who stuck around through this point. Uh, yeah, Chris, I promise we won't go too far over 10. I promise you. Uh, it looks like my food might be Wait, here, me? so I'm going to disappear at... for a half second, and I'll be back. <laughs> we'll go over 10. Dude, it's like 1130 over here. Well, you know what I mean. Midnight for you. Oh, yeah. Well, dude, I don't go to sleep till 4 in the morning, so don't worry That's about it. Also me yeah. too, yeah. Yay. What the fuck? Oh, good. So I don't... That's that. All right, that actually makes it easier. Then I don't have to rush anything. All right, guys, eight-hour marathon, uh, first session. No, let's go. You joke. Yeah, I could I mean, absolutely. I have multiple sessions planned out. I could absolutely. I mean, I, I would like to, to eat that. dinner though. That would be. He nice. would also like to sleep sometimes. Citric, you don't sleep. That's a you thing. Uh, hold on. We've got some more bits. Uh, from lovely Lorelai with a thousand bits. Ravenloft can be pretty wacky too. My boyfriend's campaign ended when she wished Strahd into the sun. That's huh. impressive. Ah! Oh, I'm ju I'm just gonna go ahead and say this for the chat. The moment I drop the link to my DMs guild about the race is the moment you'll know what it is. It's true. You should at some point you're gonna absolutely have to plug this because this is something people can play themselves. Yes, it, th this is actually on my DMs guild page. Yeah. Oh, there's that's a hint because you know there's not a lot on there. Uh, you know, only fourteen. <laughs> it's Jeez. it's a mock. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Um, Therapod, do you want to just check a setting on Discord for me, um, really sure. quick? Are you on, what are you on, um, in your audio settings? Are you on Standard or Legacy? Uh, Boss, you could you tell? help guide him through that? Just yeah, so I... if you click on the little gear and go into your voice and video section, where you can pick your mic and all that stuff. Uh, see, like, yeah, like, like, microphone, output device, input device. Yeah, so if you scroll all the way to the bottom... And then a little bit up, there should be a section that says audio subsystem. Audio subsystem? It'll be a drop-down box. Yeah. Uh, it's right above voice diagnostics and right below uh, attenuation. Uh, uh, I see video settings. I see advanced. I see echo cancellation, noise reduction, yep. automatic gain oh. control. Yep, keep going down. I, I can't go down anymore. Oh, that's as far down as you are. You want a Mac or a PC? Hey guys, I'll be right back. Sorry. I'm using the browser. Is that a is that a problem? Oh. What do you mean you're using the browser? He's using the browser back, version. But also, yeah. Oh, that yeah, that, that that might be it. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. It's fine for now. You're just kind of cutting out when you start talking on occasion, which could also be just maybe not being close let, enough to the microphone. Let but... me lower my mic sensitivity. I mean, yeah. I'm just worried well, about that. You would want noise. to raise it because it's the yeah. it's not picking you up. Or not, I mean, not... right, that, that <laughs> like like the bar gets lowered. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. get you. The bar. <laughs> Incendies yeah. production with a hundred bits. Yeah. This is such an exciting session so far. Crazy how intense Ravenloft is. Jason uh, Aloha. I legitimately Ooh. thought Mark was gonna die. I was like, yeah, well, I kind of did too. No, I was like, I, I, mm. I, I honestly, I was like, I was, I was like, there's the crit, and he's gonna go unconscious. I was like, I saw oh, the, no. I saw the 14 points of damage, and I'm like, ah, echoes of my first experience with Ravenloft. Yeah, Except I can't for I, I'm so I was sorry, level I one. If, I was if level Tangle one. had not worked, I was done. 
Like, <laughs> that's that's the most wow. I can give away at this point. But if Tangle had not worked, I was done. And you're still poisoned. I know. It's great. It just, uh, I don't even know what the poison, poison po is doing. I'm just poisoned. <laughs> just it's true. Uh, if you want, you can look up the poison condition in 5e. Just, just what Kata just vomits every five minutes. Just... Oh, yeah. For, first impression. Sometimes. What's your name? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to meet you, <laughs> Nice to meet you, but <laughs> I'm hurt. Everyone, this is but <laughs> I'm hurt. Not, not to be confused with who. Also, uh, Bosco, I might have a solution to our uh, visual problem that we're having. Okay. Having wallfly Ooh. falling around. You can, if you go to everybody's token and give wallfly permission to see them, then we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can Ooh. just use wallfly. Oh, okay. That should work, hopefully. And then we don't need the wallfly oh. token at all. all Let's right. find out. So Let's you'll see. Have to, you'll have to try that out, but that could be a way of solving it. Do you want to oh. just test it on my stage? Just well, I'm going to yeah, test could. it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to your stage. That's fine. Uh, just, uh, so you would just uh, want to go into, to... click on the token, go to advance, and okay. then you would want to go like permission, like like basically where Theropod's permission is, and just add wallfly to Got it. it. So do it. Get, move wallfly like far away. Yeah. Just out of mission. How about we <laughs> wallfly? Uh, okay. Dot wallfly has been killed. Okay. And All then right. you said it's an advanced. So yeah, go to go to on Theropod's token. Go to the gear. Okay. And there should be. Oh, the gear. Permission. That's why I did it wrong. There it is. Yeah. Advanced. And then there's permissions. There should be permissions essentially. Mm. I think I have to do this through his character sheet. Hang on. Hold on. No, no, no. Let me show you. I'm going to show you. Bear I'm with us, to... folks. Yeah, we're on break, so this is why Thankfully, I Thankfully, we only have now. to do this once. Uh, I'm so happy Ooh. because I was actually... I, I have a new pair of headphones on, and they're constricting my fucking skull, so I'm just oh. like, oh, fuck. Right. Yeah, I, it says control by and then determine by character setting, so I have to do it through the sheet. Uh, I'm going to share my screen real fast, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to watch. <laughs> so, oh, God. <laughs> Oh my By god, way, that's Zito. where we're going in the next session? Damn, that's awesome. Yeah, right? It's so cool. So click here. Yeah. So go, go here. Yep. Click the gear. And you see controlled by? Add wall. That's what I don't add. have. You don't have that. Nope. It's uh, So I have to do it. In the, I could do it, but I have to do it from a different spot. So let me okay, see. Okay, but you want to give wall fly permissions. In All right. How did, did that work? Let me see. Let's I mean, take right a now there's no one on the map, so we can't test it. Well, Theropod is, so Theropod, yep. oh, Wolf okay. should be able theropod, to see. Theropod, but it's not affecting the stuff around him. Okay, there we go. I, yes, now it's working. Okay, cool. So that's what I'll do from uh, now on. Yeah. The they, players oh, can't see, though. No. Wait, I, th I think it's working. I'm looking at the stream. I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. Yeah, it's, it's working. working. So, so I'm going to basically... That. So Wallfly's gonna be able to see what they see. Yeah, I'll give it yeah, to everybody. Wallfly, give Wallfly the ability to see through everybody. So Wallfly has unlocked their second power, which is uh, Super Clairvoyance. Oh my god. Keep Wolf going, guys. Now is three compound eyes. So now you don't have three. to have a separate token to control and forget about. And it just hey. makes it easier. Wolfly is so powerful. So powerful. Wolfly is powerful. Three and hey, compound eyes. Connor, now you get to know how to do this for when you, because I assume it's going to work the same. Woo! Well, I don't know if Connor is using dynamic lighting. Mr. I mean, Bosco he did last time. He used dynamic lighting. Oh, I guess, yeah, Connor did. Oh, I should probably stop streaming, shouldn't I? <laughs> Only if you want to. I'm happy I to do. do whatever. All right. Hey. All right. Bye, chat. Oh, I'm afraid. Uh oh, Wallfly. And what happened to Wallfly? Oh no. Uh, I switched the I switched the map back. No, it's getting a loading error. Oh. You broke Wallfly, Bosco. Uh, oh. It should be okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen to it? All right. Huh? I said, what's <laughs> the worst that could happen to it? Can you break the fly, the real life fly that is currently terrorizing me and my cat? I wish that would I be great. Fly like a dragonfly. dragonfly. Like a dragonfly. Like a dragonfly. I want a Milky Way. I want a dragonfly. Milky Way. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Uh.
haven't heard that in a minute. It's so mm. good. Anyway, Bosk, are you good to keep going? I am good to keep going. I just got to uh, put everybody on the map. Everybody. Uh, everybody. 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 Open your eyes. Rock your body. <laughs> Backstreet's back. All right. All right. All right. Look. All right. Look for other vampires. <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> werewolves. You are All now right. Whatever. Werewolves. A woo. A woo. This is a thriller. All right. Connor, can you see? Wallfly, can you see? Uh, uh, I cannot see. Ah, I see why. I'm getting better see? at this. I don't. <laughs> I can see not. <laughs> Save the changes. There you are. Hey, there I am. Here I am. Rock, you like Doing hurt. everything you can? Hell yeah. Growing older all the mm. time? What? Feeling younger in my mind. Turning into slime. Can other players see? No. Or... So no. Can, 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 uh, yeah, you'll have to watch the stream if you want to see. I'd have to give you all permission to see Connor. They're not supposed to be on the stream, though. That's against the rules. So you guys have to use you have to use imagination. That's a blatant right. violation of the governing rules. <laughs> oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. <laughs> oh no, the oh, oh, police. No. Uh, it's fine, Bosco. Just go with because Con this is Connor's scene. Yeah, 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 Theater yeah, of the yeah. mind. Theater of the mind. Theater yep. Theater yep. The totally. Mind. Totally. Play along with everybody. You get to see stuff that they don't. So Connor. Would you That's like me. to describe for everybody what your character looks like before we get started? Absolutely. Uh, Kopnos of the Ember Main is a tall Leonin male with steely blue eyes, a tan coat, and a darker smoky orange mane with blackened tips that make his mane look burnt. Parts of it are swept back and tied into a long braid that trails down his back. The front is tied off into three separate sections, pinched off with small metal incense burners. He wears a brown and gold-trimmed coat of lamellar armor with a loose-fitting silken shirt of deep purplish hue of aster flowers in the Greek style of Oreskos. He wears puffy white trousers that taper off into leather boots made to fit around his digitigrade legs, leaving his furred toes exposed. On his back is a gold-plated phalanx shield engraved with a lion's face whose mane looks like a flaming sun and a spear that is similarly gold-plated. Excellent. And we join you in a very special location. You have been in Ravenloft longer than anyone here. You originally were whisked away and have been trying for what seemed like months to get back to where you came. During your journey, you ran into a woman by the name of Sophia Miklos, M-I-K-L-O-S. Okay. She was a tall woman wearing a black trench coat and a bowler hat, if you can imagine the Undertaker, straight up Undertaker cap. <laughs> uh, carried a very large, what seemed to be almost homemade crossbow uh, with some kind of me mechanical pieces to it that you've never seen in a crossbow before. Uh, and identified herself as a vampire hunter. Uh, give mm. me a give me a history check with advantage. You're a smart, dude. History check with advantage. Let me yep. have my sheet here. Uh, that's going to be a soft twenty. You have spent most of the time with her learning about what exactly vampires are. So for the sake of brevity, you know exactly what a vampire is. You know exactly what to do to them. Uh, and you have essentially act as, acted as her accomplice as she has taken pity on you and is trying to find a way not only for you to return home to where you came from, but how to free Barovia, which is the city that you currently reside in, from the grasp that seems to keep it where it is, away from all the others in the multiverse. That being said, there is a singular entity that you know rules over this land. And I think you above game already know what the name is. Mm -hmm. The great Lord Strahd von Zorovich. There is a giant castle known as Castle Ravenloft that sits in a far off section of the Ravenloft area outside of Barovia. 
And according to Sophia, that is where the man who resides over all of this land is said to be. And from him stews all of the corruption, undead, and suffering that this land has been under for what seems like its entire existence. You have been working diligently, and hopefully you can see your token as I switch over. Yep. Uh, at your desk, continuing your research, as you happen to know that Strahd has been unusually quiet. Normally, you have heard stories from Sophia about how he would taunt adventurers who would enter his lands and bait them into finding him, testing their might, and ultimately finding that they had no use for him. You've heard the story many, many times over. However, there is one particular group of adventurers who you don't have a lot of knowledge about that are said to have killed Strahd, which you find very, very odd. And right now, you and Sophia have been trying to dig up any research you can as to whether or not that's actually true. And if it is, why it doesn't seem to have cleared up what's happened in Barovia. So, that being said, you are sitting at your desk, and allow me to bring Sophia onto the map so you are not taken off guard. Where is it? I need a female. That was a male. Why did I put the male down? I are dumb. I can't tell the difference between an F and an M, apparently. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, I've used this token before, but it's a different color. Don't mind it. Boom. All right. Uh, you see her approach the desk uh, as she seems to have finished up some kind of dinner. You can smell uh, from the kitchen, which you know is down into the left. Uh, you could tell that she has cooked some kind of meal, has finished it up, and has returned uh, to work with you as she puts down a piece of paper in front of you. <sighs> this came in the mail. Uh, Kopnos will look down. If she set it on the table, he'll pick it up and look at it. Yep. Uh, as you read it, it seems to be locations to a village that you have never heard of. Mm. It was slipped under the door. Does it have an address? No, just an area to a town that, based on what I've been able to calculate, does not exist. Or at least it shouldn't. Hmm. My initial thought was, you know who, playing games once again, but it doesn't seem his style. He would typically do it in person. He would want to manipulate and enjoy the process. No, this seems strange. I don't know why it's here, but it might be worth investigating at some point. However, I want you to look up whatever you can find on that location, see if anything used to be there. I will do this. Uh, give me a history check with advantage as you look around and you see bookcases as far as the eye can see. Various novels with different leather backs and some even in skin, which creeps you out a little bit. But, you know, weird books in a weird time is kind of how we do. That's uh, so, yeah. What is for dinner? I made your favorite. Steak. <clears throat> you know me all too well in the short time that we have known each other. Well, I figure if I'm going to kill a carcass, I have to feed my brilliant researcher. <laughs> brilliant. Uh, he'll what he'll the... he'll yeah. grab like a like a fork and take a piece of the steak and put it in his mouth as he walks over to the bookcase. Uh, give me another history check with advantage. History or whether the advantage is going to be another soft one thing. Connor, I'm going to need you to not mm -hmm. roll perfectly yeah. on just no, the history mm -hmm. No witchcraft. Keep, keep it going. Forward. Yeah. No, I don't believe I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as you pull one of the books out from the shelf, you start to move through it, don't find anything useful, pull out another book, look through it. After about 15, 20 minutes of going through book after book after book, you see a Again, skin-covered book uh, bound in the skin of some kind of creature. Uh, and as you pull it open and begin to flip through the pages of Barovia's history, you notice an area in a town that is described similar to what's on the coordinates, although it doesn't have a name. It just mentions a small town, leading you to believe that it was, if it was named, it was probably lost to the annals of time. And you could spend days in a library trying to figure out exactly what it's called. But it does seem like the coordinates do match up with a town that at one time or another did exist. Oh, good. I have some information. 
Yes, is it another trick, or am I going to get good news this time? <sighs> Depends on your definition of a trick. This town with no name truly has no name. If it was did, so perhaps. And if it did have a name, it is lost to history. This is disappointing to say the least. Mm. How but are you with the history. arcane? <laughs> uh, I think the more important question is how is the arcane with me? I am sad to disappoint you. I see. Let's see. A strange town in the middle of nowhere. Hmm. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Look up any beings that you can find that may have been in Barovia at various points to see if there's any kind of force potentially acting against Strahd. Even if they're not <laughs> on our side, perhaps we have a common enemy. I wonder if they'll even find works of people openly acting against Strahd. But I will do this. Another history check with advantage. Here I go again. again on uh, Eleven this time. Own. There are so many books here, and there are so few that talk about anything beyond Strahd ruling this land with an iron fist. You comb through book after book after book, and every single one of them always <sighs> leads you back to Strahd. You notice her doing the same. As I do the same. All right. As you see her pull out a book from the very bottom shelf uh, of this bookcase back here uh, and pulls it open to a page. Kapnos. Hmm. What if it's specters? Maybe something that's not from here, at least not originally. Specters. Hmm. Take a look at these. It could be. She turns oh. the book around and kind of pushes it towards you. Oh, and as I'll you take a up. look, you see a silhouetted man in kind of... Uh, the best way I can say is festive garb. But as you kind of tilt your head, you notice that his head is not the head of a man, <laughs> but of some kind of pumpkin. <laughs> this specter-like creature... This um, entity. I've been trying to track him down for a very, very, very long time. He is a trickster. He bounces from world to world, causing mayhem and mischief. No one can really pin him down. The only thing that he is known by is the Pumpkin King. <laughs> the Pumpkin King. I know, a childish name to say the least, but he is from all accounts in this book, not to be trifled with. Mm. A living jack-o'-lantern. I don't need to tell you how strange that is, but in this land, he would fit right in. Barovia is a strange place. If there is another entity working in Barovia, <laughs> we need to investigate it. Uh, mm. And as she, almost as she says that, you hear a knock at the door. It's the Terminator. I'll get it. I'll walk over to the door, wherever All right. that is. Uh, the door, you would know, is right here. Where is right here? <laughs> I'm pinging the map. Is it not sharing? I can't see. It. I'm picking over here. It. Oh, I, I think see. I can shift ping you. There you go. Hang on. Eh, eh. Uh, there we go. I'll just sort of tip, tippy toe around the, the arcane circle on the ground. Yep. Uh, you you would know that that's more a protection circle, so it's meant to activate when someone comes in. It is attuned to not affect you. Gotcha. You know, that's something that she creates. Still don't trust it, though. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, probably wise. I'll... Do you open the door? Uh, yeah. Excellent. Let me open the greetings door. And, greetings and salutations. I love you. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias. Uh, and the token is right. After I click. 
You need to do a whiskey commercial with that voice. A whiskey commercial? Hello. Yeah. Hello. I don't beer. always drink beer, but when I but do, when I, do. I <laughs> But when I do, yeah. I prefer whiskey? Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. I don't exactly. always drink whiskey, but when I do, I liquor never whiskey. gets me sicker, so why should you? Stay thirsty, Chad. <laughs> Uh, you see a man probably in his maybe 30s or 40s uh, approaching the door. He looks like he is shivering as you can feel the cold rush of the air come through the doorway as the light spills out. And you're actually able to see in front of you. And you see a man uh, kind of shaking and kind of looking up at you as you tower over him. Excuse me, sir. I, ap I apologize for interrupting. But uh, I, uh, I am seeking shelter for the night. I, I was hoping, I was hoping I could stay with Lady Sophia. Gonna inside him, just just based it. on his demeanor, if there are <laughs> ulterior motives, or if he's really just trying to get in here. Inside chick, that's gonna be a fourteen. Uh. Oh. By one, you've not really seen people shamble up to your door like this, especially in the middle of the night. Sophia, we have one off the streets. What should I do with him? One off the streets? We're not expecting company. Sir! I apologize, but I'm really not in the habit of trying to take in strays. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, just point, he just points to himself. Big sad uh, frown on his face. She, oh. she, she gives you a look. Roll an inside check with advantage because you've you've been with her for a while. <laughs> Seventeen. She does not trust this person, and you're <laughs> you tried to just undermine her. <laughs> But you can, she gives holds, you that stern look of like, oh, you done messed up. He holds his hands up defensively. <laughs> I am all full up. As you can see, I've taken all the strays I can handle. Thank you very much for that, Katnos. I do eat quite a lot already. No, you, you must understand. I, I can help you. I just, I, I, I have nowhere else to go. Help us with what exactly I, I can i i will cook i will clean whatever you need mm. i'll tell you it what does. cop nose back up you see her take a step away from the door <laughs> <laughs> I just put up some dinner. You see the man still standing there as he's kind of looking back and forth between the two of you. Oh, I see. What's wrong? Are you not hungry? <sighs> you bitch. I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. Yeah. Everybody? Okay. I'll, uh... nice. I'll, not yeah. every. Not us. <laughs> I'm going to need Connor to roll initiative. Here well, I right, go. Right, chat. Roll initiative. You are Wallfly, after all. Yeah, you come on, chat. Wallfly. Roll your initiative right now. Dude, nice. Nice. calculate it all in one night. Us. Hey. <laughs> uh, I need to roll for her. Oh, now no. I need to roll for him. Oh, why did I roll a 20 for the enemy? I'm sorry, guys. Um, all right. 20. 20. And here. That's the third nat 20 of the freaking game. All right. She's dying. Velma dying. Dinkley voice. You stop that. I, you I stop read that enough, right now. I've read enough Dresden files. I should have known what this was. Uh, as, as you look in the doorway, you see what looks to be a glamour of, an, of a disheveled man slowly begin to burn away into the female visage of what you can instantly see is a vampire spawn. Oh, they, no. They, uh -huh. they get to move first, and... Do, 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 do. That's cool. She can't come inside. Uh -huh. You didn't invite them in. Yeah. Uh, you see her brandish a weapon and throw it through the door. 
Uh, what is your AC again? Is it 18? 19. 19. Fucking damn it. Wow. It must be nice to be chunky. Natural okay. 20! I'll take that. Uh, um, That's the only way I can hit you, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you see a dagger thrown directly into your chest as you feel a sting <laughs> as you get hit for 12. <laughs> Jeebus. Yep. Pretty I'm cool. getting PTSD because this is the last fight I had when I played Ravenloft last time. Uh -oh. <laughs> Why don't you come out and play? As you see her scurry into the darkness. Uh, what did you roll for your initiative? Nine. Good, because I rolled even lower. It is your move. My good man. <laughs> and now that I pause the music, it is time... I'm not hearing any music at all. Yeah, I'm not hearing now any you music. should. <coughs> You're really good at these music cues there, Bosco. Do, 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 do. Hey. do you want to turn it up a bit, Bosco? Good it's a little quiet. Bit. How's that? A little That's bit good. more. Boom. Perfect. Bam. I will trust you because I can't hear it. Ooh. All right, Connor, your move. <clears throat> You saw this thing throw a dagger and scurry into the darkness. It's it's not music, it's ambience chat. Sorry, I should specify. Just yes. he, one day Bosco will learn the difference. Yeah. He tugs the, the knife Something out of his armor. Leave me be. Hmm? And he tugs the knife out of his armor and lets it drop to the floor. <sighs> uh, I am not in the habit of hitting ladies, but <sighs> It is no longer a lady. It is cursed. If you say so. And he'll pull his shield from his back and pull his javelin. Um. And she she scurried off into, into the shadows. Yes. Uh, you also know that Sophia will go after this thing as a vampire hunter, even though you're technically safe. Um, hmm. Okay. Could I, could I see if I could carefully run out the door to avoid getting, like, slashed from the darkness? Uh, you wouldn't, uh, I'm trying to say, how would this not be meta? You, you are confident that they moved away from the door so you could probably get out just fine. Once you're out there, you don't know what you're going to see. Okay. I will. Uh, he'll he'll lean over to Sophia. I will try to distract her. And he he'll he'll bring up his sword and or he'll bring up his spear tip and his shield and he'll strike the shield with his with his spear tip and the incense burners on his mane will ignite and okay. begin to billow out oh. smoke. Uh, and I'm going to run 30 feet out into the night of Barovia. Heck yeah. Don't look now, but you're And as you run out there, you see her hissing in the corner. Aha. Uh -huh. There you are. <laughs> you might think the darkness is your friend, but it is mine as well. <laughs> and he'll, his, he'll... The, his lips will peel back and show his fangs, and the smoke coming from his mane will begin to just billow as another one of him steps out from his shadow. I am going to manifest my echo. Do it. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Yep. Uh, damn, yep. Echo nice. Yo. Uh, and yes. It's going to, and it's going to appear right behind her. All right. Oop. Oh, you already did it. Heck yeah. Yep. All right, so right behind, boom. You should still have control of it too. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go, ladies actually, and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome to I'd that. I like to move here, actually. All right, yeah, put them wherever you want. Uh huh. Um, and while it's behind her, uh, I know what these things are capable of, so I'm just going to go all out here. Um, the echo behind her is going to thrust its spear outward and try to go stab her right in the gut. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to go for a two-handed attack. Ow, though. 
That's going to be an eight. <laughs> That's uh, going to miss. Damn. That was badass, though. It was pretty badass. Uh, pretty badass. What's even more badass is I... Oh, wait, no. I... Uh... Uh, oh, I could just do that. Um, all right. Uh, it's going to wind back with unnatural speed and stab her again. I'm going to unleash incarnation. All right. I've wanted to see this class in action. Here we go. It's so... Uh, another another two-hander. 16? That'll hit. For a four piercing damage. All right. Oh, wait, why is that... Oh, that's using my dexterity. Uh, that should be... Yeah, because add your strength six. to it. Yes, so, it's six. So it's six instead of four? Yes. Wait. All righty. Uh, no, no, it's my strength modifier. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it is four. You just my, hold my strength... that one is what happened. Yeah. No, I was looking at the modifier, the plus three. I was like, that just sounds weird. That sounds low. <laughs> Got it. You aren't that high of a level. I was going to say. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm not used to playing a low-level character. <laughs> You're coming, coming down from ten to three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, wait a second. I've got a level 10, a level 11, and a level 6 in <laughs> different yep. campaigns. It's weird. Right. Uh, yeah, it's like to be baby. Mm -hmm. Welcome to and baby. Yeah, that'll be, uh, that'll be my turn. I'm going to uh, just... Um, yeah, I'll keep my distance. I'll keep my distance from here. All right. Uh, oh, this will be good. All right. You see Sophia run out, as she is prone to do. Uh, you see her, as she's running out, dipping into something on her hip. She's dipping one of her bolts in there, connects it to the crossbow, and lets loose. Whoa, okay. God. Uh, uh -huh. All righty. Uh, where is that? Here we go. Fucking minimum damage, you piece of... Well, it was going to be badass. So you see... <laughs> you mm -hmm. see a bolt fire from her crossbow and hit this thing right in the chest, and you can hear the sizzling of flesh as this thing roars in pain. <laughs> yeah. All right. You seem, you seem to be popular, Sophia. I grow tired of them trying to get to me. Go. All right. Uh, it is now this thing's turn. You watch as this. Does this provoke from your echo? If she's moving towards me, it sure fucking does. You're going to get an attack of opportunity as it tries to charge what she believes is the original. 15? That'll hit. For nine piercing. Ow! Get wrecked. Oh, get wrecked, kid. baby. So you see as she leaps off the wall. Your echo just kind of cut into her back as she staggers to a knee and tries to slice up at you. It is so, not it is not proper to turn your back on enemies. You are yeah. far more than you anticipated. Ooh. Does a 19 and 19 does hit you. Yep, 19 is my AC. Yep, but I missed the second one. You see her swing wildly and miss with the first strike as she then comes down across your chest where she hit with the dagger for For four. However, Oof. as you are sliced across the chest, you feel a secondary effect kind of hit you. Mm. As you take six necrotic damage on top of the two slashes. Mm. Ow. All right. Uh, you also watch as this thing's wounds start to heal up and then stop. You watch this thing turn back towards Sophia, and you can see a giant grin on her face as she's dipping another bolt. Uh, it is now your turn, Connor. Okay. Well, Kopnos is pissed. He flexes his muscles. You can almost see them through his loose shirt, and he goes... <laughs> as I... Uh, his wounds will start to heal over as well with this uh. these black smoke coming off of his wounds begins to seal... It shut. I'm going to activate second wind. Hell yeah, baby. Uh, it's a D10, I believe. 
And you got one D10 plus my fighter level. Yep, which will be three. So three plus. Let's go. Uh, All right, not bad. All right. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Uh, that was my bonus, bonus action. action. Yeah. action. Yep, yeah, that's fine. That's fine with me. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, boy, this thing is really fucking me up. Uh, all right, I'm going to thrust forward with my own spear, then. Okay. A natural 20. Oh, yep. Well, let's that's, fucking go. That's a natural 20 with a nat 1 on the other side. <gasps> this has happened three times this game. Oh. Bookends, baby. <laughs> Uh, four plus three is seven piercing damage. All right. I'm going to unleash incarnation again. All right. So my my incarnation will get an attack as well. And since, um, can it move? Oh, it sure can. I'm gonna move All it right. so that it, we're smamaging. So it's flanking as well. Heck yeah. Uh, 10, is it plus 2? For flanking? Bosco, what's your... Uh, level? that, yes, it'll be plus 2. Okay. So, a 12? Uh, no, that will sadly miss. Shit. Yep. But, the, hey, good uh, damage on the first swing. Fuck it. I'm gonna action surge. Yeah. Do it! Yeah. Hell yeah! Ooh. Fighter. Fighter Gonna take a fucking another one. Uh, 14? That will also miss, sadly. Just Shit. Oh. Hey, I'm gonna tweak the music real quick because I just realized I have battle music and I didn't use it. Yeah, it's, I'm sorry. This music's just too calm. I'm like, oh, I'm no. relaxed. <laughs> oh no, a fight. He, he, <laughs> he raises his shield. He raises his shield in front of him and he, he looks over. Sophia! Yes! Make sure to mute the other music you add up just so they don't conflict. Uh, is it still going? Yeah, I hear the ambience going at the same time as the battle music huh. as well. That's weird. It says it stopped. Oh, now it stopped. You're good. Oh, perfect. Way to be slow on the uptake. All right, sorry. What were you doing, Connor? <laughs> Ugh, I'm going to need much more steak. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you'll have all you can eat. Provided I survive. Uh, all right. Is that your turn, Connor? Yep. All right. She is going to take another shot with her crossbow. Oh, I get it. More steak because it's a vampire. It's true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, thank you for the max damage. You see this thing get ripped into as she pulls out her bolt, takes aim at her head, and you watch it go directly from one temple to the other and out. As you hear this thing, nice. I will send you back to the grave for good. And it is now its turn. Uh, screeching in frustration, it is going to lunge at Sophia. So you will get an attack of opportunity with you or your Echo. Yeehaw! Uh, why not uh, give a little, uh, give it to the the main man? Uh, 15 to hit? That will hit. For five piercing. All right. Good damage. Uh, as it tries to run away from you, you slice across its leg as it stumbles into an attack. Oof. All right. You watch Sophia block the first wild strike, but just like this thing did to you, it strikes up with another claw attack across her chest. As you see her take a huge gash to her chest and get thrown back to her, uh, thrown back on her ass. As she begins bleeding profusely from her chest, this thing gashed her good. And you can see the wounds beginning to fester with that secondary effect. Sophia! <laughs> you see, even on the ground, she's trying to dip the bolts and crawl away. Uh, all right, that is its turn. It is now your turn, Connor. Do not run from me, monster. Uh, I'm going to move my Echo and myself. Heck yeah, sandwicher. Um, 
Mm, hang on. Do my spears have reach? Uh, I don't think spears have 10 feet. Spears should. Do they? I'll check. Uh, I got you. Spear. I thought in 5 feet they were all I, yeah, 5 feet. I have one. Spear so. proficiency. Uh, glaives have reach. I know yeah. that. Ah, that's what it was. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember they're, all they're, they're, pretty basic. They're, yeah, they're range thrown and versatile, so no, I do not yeah, have so reach. You, don't have, um, you do not have reach, but are, you are able to move if you want, I think. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm yeah. just gonna. I'm just gonna spam at you again. Um, I'm going to attack uh, once with the echo. All right. Seventeen. Uh, that will hit. Oh, oh, eleven god. piercing damage. Oh. Oh god. Get him. Max Get him. Max Get him. damage. God. You absolutely wreck into this thing. As you see her gash, Sophia, you come up behind it and drive your spear all the way through its body as you hear a blood curling. <laughs> Rip heads on users. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, be, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Go back to the shadows where you came from, <laughs> Richard. <laughs> all right. Is it still kicking? It is still kicking, but it is looking bad. Fuck uh, it. it. Now... Unleash incarnation once more. Go <laughs> for it. Natural one. Oh, oh. all right. Well, let me roll severity. <laughs> what, uh, what up? You see, what up? You see your incarnation just miss. Whew. Okay. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Um. After the attacks, I'm going to try and see if I can position myself in front of Sophia. Uh, all right, are you gonna try to shove her out of the way? Um, that is technically a shove action. I don't think you can do that with your movement. I, I, I can't, I can't do that, no, no, no. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just try to go and position myself in front of her. All right, sounds good. Uh, you see her on her turn, unable to load her crossbow and shoot from such a close range. You see her dipping the bolt and she's gonna attempt to improvise stab it in the leg. Jesus, it's a deep four, but she hit it. Vampire hunter. For max no damage, joke. she stabs this thing in the leg for a total of eight damage and turns to you and goes, Finish it. Is, you is see this creatures... thing hiss and roar as furious that you just ran it through. It turns its attention to you, potentially sparing her life, and is going to swing with all its fury. Okay. Uh, okay, does a 22 hit you? Yes, it does. It sure does. Uh, so this thing is going to try to hit you, but it actually grabs you. So I need you oh. to make... I need, I, Or do you just automatically grab? Hang on. Uh, I think if it's... Like, da, da, da. Oh, boy, grappling rules. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah. so make hey, a competing at athletic. Least we're not in pa at least we're not in Pathfinder. Oh, God. Yeah, let's <laughs> Did just someone get the say chart grappling? Out. Yeah, right. My fucking head just fucking got a massive migraine from you saying that, Monty. <laughs> Monty. I'm going to need a uh, five-minute five PowerPoint presentation to yes, figure out who Oscar? has advantage. Uh, so I need you to make a uh, contesting uh, grapple check. So give me an acrobatics or athletics of your choice. Uh, I'll give you an athletics because I'm, okay. I'm better at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. 14? 14 just beats it as you... Woo. See this first slash try to grab at your throat. You knock it away. It tries one more time. Uh, go ahead and give me another athletics check. 12. This time it manages to grab you as you are now considered grappled. Hmm? I will take you to the grave with me. <gasps> and that will end its turn. It is now your turn. You are now grappled. What did I tell you earlier? You shouldn't turn your back on your enemies. And he'll motion behind motion behind her, and uh, Shadow Kapnos is going to do it. Trying to go right through the chest. Uh, oh, seven? Oh, that's <sighs> going to miss. Oh, fuck. Was that your full action, or is that a bonus action to have it act? Uh, 
it is I can I can attack from my my clone's position. Got it. So that that does take my attack action. Uh, as a bonus action, though, I can try to get her to let go of me. Um, I'm okay. So seeing as it's it's really dire at the current juncture, Kopnos is going. His eyes are going to gleam. And the incense is going to rise up from his face to highlight all of the edge, deep edges and most intimidating parts of his body. And he's just going to go <sighs> and roar and roar at this thing right in its face. I'm going to use daunting roar. Hell yeah. Nice. It, it, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. What's the DC? Uh, DC is 8, plus my proficiency bonus, plus my constitution modifier, so, um, 13, I think? All right. It's a wait. 13, and this thing has a plus 3, it looks like, so let's see what happens. Uh, wait, it's, uh, 8, plus my proficiency bonus, which is 2, plus, yeah, it's 13. 13? You yeah. see this thing stare at you, and as you roar, you see its hair, the, the sheer force of the wind being pushed out of your lungs, pushing its hair back, but it does not look phased. Fuck. Fuck what these things. I'm sorry. I just, I hate, I'm sitting here just like, I think it was distracted. Vampire uh, spawn or nothing to sneeze at. It looks, it looks strictly focused on you right now as you seem to be the biggest threat. Good. All right. Is that your turn? That is my turn. All right. She is going to attempt to stab it again. Oh my god! She she crit it again. again? She didn't crit, but she hit it. Whew. Oh my goodness! All right, here we go. Oh, never mind. All right, I, plus her. I, all right, you see her again, dipping a bolt in something on her hip, and stabs this thing again <laughs> as it takes damage. You can see this thing starting to breathe a lot heavier as you can feel its grip almost starting to loosen on your neck, but you are still considered grappled. It okay. is now this thing's turn. Uh, all right. Here we go, Connor. Moment of truth. It's going to bear its fangs at you, and it's going for your neck. Okay. You are considered grappled. Oh, no. no. Oh. I'm racing. 19 AC, come on. You see it dive forward and bite into your mane and your neck. But you do not feel it pierce the skin as your mane deflects the bite. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Wow. You can feel some of your hair being tugged out as it pulls back, disgusted by whatever this creature is in front of it that was able to block it. And it hisses at you. <sighs> not even the new blood will save you. You can tell that this thing is trying to survive, but it is on its last legs. And Connor, it is now your turn. Okay. <laughs> That's more so, stressful than dodging a bullet. That's fucking. Ugh. All right. I. I. It, are, am I still flanking with this thing? You are still considered flanked with your echo. Yes. Hmm. Okay, the echo is gonna go for another two-handed strike, trying to. Uh, mm. Actually, w would it be my action to try and break out of this thing's grasp? It would. It's probably safer if I just try to take it down now. All right, gonna go for an attack. Natural ah! twenty! Oh, oh, yeah! Hey! Hey, go oh! On. Connor, roll the damage. Kill it. Two natural 20s. Double nat 20. Double for the nat 20. At home. Come on. Saturday. Come on. 12 ah. piercing. How do you want to kill it? Yes. So when, when the thing tried to bite me, my echo would begin to, would, raise its spear up double-handed and 
Uh, he's he's going to wince as she takes the fangs out of out of my armor, not piercing me. And I'm going to say, I try to be nice to pretty ladies, but you, you're a monster. Goodbye, monster. And right through the chest, the the shadowy spear just pierces completely and she sees her own reflection in the black metal of tip of the spear. You watch as whatever life this thing had, undead or not, fades from its body as it falls limp on the sword. Are you all right? Are you all right? <laughs> I am not going to let the, uh, not going to let your teachings go to waste. Uh, and he'll reach a hand out to help her up. What about you? Told for this. That thing got you pretty good. And while while this while he's just casually helping her back up, this thing is like, this thing has the vampire spawn on the ground and is just raking it with with blows in the neck trying to hack its head off with a spear tip um, double tapping in the corner thank you you saved my life <laughs> uh, think nothing of it we saved each other's lives so we're even I haven't saved your life yet but I intend to come on <laughs> we should burn the body and wait it said new blood. Mm, the mists. Give me a history check with advantage. Oh, I'm good at this. <laughs> 17. You would know, as you have done research on this with Sophia, the mists have been known to bring strangers to Ravenloft, seemingly at random. The, the stories of adventurers trying to conquer the realm and defeat Strahd are numerous, and every time the mists have seemed to play some kind of role in it. What exactly it is, you're not sure, but there seems to be some kind of correlation, or at least that's that, the working theory. Is that why I'm here? That is your best guess, as you do remember mists being the thing that you saw last before waking up here. Mm, these mists, they are probably why I am here. Yes, unless you are from here naturally. If you see someone that is not typically from Barovia, it is a safe bet they were brought here by either the mists or some power that we don't understand. <laughs> that being said, if there is new blood, I'm gonna I'm gonna start helping her inside, and the uh, <laughs> the um, the shadow, my my echo incarnation will, if there are any torches or candles around, it'll just it'll just grab the candle and then throw it on the body to receive the torch the body right there uh you would know that if you were to drag it onto that circle considering the amount of heat that you would need to generate normally to burn a body that circle should take care of it it's what it's designed okay. to do is if something comes in Con congratulations creature you got your invitation and it's going to drag <laughs> into the circle as soon as you drag it over the circle you see the body turn to ash The echo will sort of look down, sigh, and start sweeping it out with its tail. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Bosco, can we switch over the music now that... Yes, we should here? probably switch over the yeah. music. We just finished. All right. Let's go back to the creepy stuff. Oh. Yay. That, that wasn't creepy? I want to bitch that was battle about creepy. vampire spot, but I'll do it later. <laughs> we can, you, you can vent about it later, Ma. I knew you would appreciate that. You, you know and that, that was one. That was one. Yeah. I fought like, just for context, I fought like seven or eight at like level four with four at the same people. Time. Shit! The Why same didn't time. I? Did, did you? Did you have um, anybody doing what the the NPC was doing? No. So it makes it even harder, and I can't it tell you hard. why, but you know why. I'm an really idiot. Hard. I had a, I had another way to get out of that grapple. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that hey. 
it's it's all good. So you're as fine. you drag the body, dude, you, you got double nat twenties. Yeah, yeah. As, as you went, as you care, that was that was badass. I don't think anybody's gonna complain about how badass that was. So mm. as you drag the your echo drags the body, and you help Sophia back towards the table. Uh, as she begins to try to reach for her table, uh, she begins to move through, and she pulls out a card. You need to seek out the fortune teller. The fortune teller. Yes, a Vistani legend. Her name is Madame Eva. Madame Eva. And what sort of help could this Madame Eva afford us? From what I have been able to gather, those that have entered either Brovia or Ravenloft have had some kind of contact with her. If there are others like us, they could potentially help us. No doubt they are trying to get home like you are. Mm. All right, I'll do it. But in return, I want to do something for you as well. What is it? Whatever you would want of me. We can I still worry owe, about what I, st I still owe you a great debt for taking me in. We can worry about the favors later, as appreciated as it is. I will be fine. I will stay inside. You have my word. S please, seek out Madame Eva. I will do this. After I eat some steak. That is fair. Uh, as you fill your stomach and get a full day worth of ration and water, <gasps> we, uh, would there, is there anything you would like to do before you set out on your trek? Mm -hmm. uh, Sophia. Yes. Um, what exactly were you dipping your bolts in when we were fighting that thing? Give me an intelligence check with advantage as she kind of smirks at you and holds up a, what looks like a small bottle. 16. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's holy water. Mm -hmm. you, you have seen her use it before to dispatch the undead as they seem to have, if not a weakness, then a definite dislike for it, and it seems to disrupt some of what they're capable of doing. You wouldn't happen to have any more of that, would you? Are you thinking about coating your blade? I'm thinking about trying to survive. I don't have a lot of it, so don't use it all, but yes. You see her mm. hand you the vial. Mm. You're going to have to prepare the metal. It works a lot easier with projectiles. Is this the only one you have? I said I don't have a lot. <coughs> so maybe. Would that change what you'd do? Yes. I wouldn't want to take from you, leaving you defenseless. I am looking to get more of it, but yes, that is my last bottle. They have been quite aggressive lately, as you've noticed. <sighs> Keep it. It would leave a rotten taste in my mouth. <sighs> Water blessed by some beings. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that oh, that oh, blessed that's water right. did save your hide. <sighs> I have never been one to rely on help from the gods. I will find my own path. You don't have some silver, do you? That's. Uh, I have been trying to procure the silver. Yes, we are working on it. I. You Supplies use it are as not exactly easy to come by. You use it as currency and do not coat your blades with it. Can't you just melt some? Not the same kind of material, I, I assure you. It is not pure silver that they use in the currency. Bah! <sighs> All right. I... We'll see what I can do. But... Well, go on. All right, all right. 
he'll 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 back up and he'll he'll give her like a, a bow a, like a courtesy mm -hmm. and uh mm, yeah i'll i'll do what she says and i'll i'll leave uh that is where we are going to pause you as you make your trek towards madam ava hey monty oh great <laughs> yeah welcome back how are you <laughs> I just no vampire. <laughs> I've broken you session one. That's not good. No, I'm just having flashbacks, dude. Like just like emotional flashbacks. You, you know that gif of the dog being shown like the muffins or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's just, <laughs> just that fucking. Gif. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the dog just stare at the that... middle distance. Yeah. It's me. It's me thinking about that attic. Bad time. <laughs> Bad, bad, bad food. times. Although you were level one when you were in that attic, so no, we were level, we were level three or four. And, oh, right where you and, are now. How convenient. And we had we had four people, and there was like seven or eight vampire spawn. It's great. <laughs> it was awesome. Woo! Level one was like four or five ghouls at level one oh or two. That Jesus was Christ. Fun. Yeah, that's, that's insane. Welcome Ravenloft. That's insane. I'm, yes, I'm not. I'm so, I mean, so just just for for people to understand, the challenge of the monster they just faced is a five, and he's level three. Yeah. So that's Ravenloft. Okay, I'm here. Hi. Yep. Mm. So, just so you are aware, you last when last we left our hero, they Shut were blacking up. out. Uh, as you kind of come to, you find yourself. Uh, in a forest, uh, you notice that you have kind of a small camp that has been put together. As your memory starts to return to you, you remember this is where you had stopped for the evening. You have been traveling in Ravenloft for about a week now. After that long battle, things seem to have gotten hazy. You remember waking up in your bedroom one night after your shift and seeing a strange mist pouring in through your window. And the next thing you knew, you are in a strange new world that you have now been traversing for about the past week. And as you wake up in this campfire, you notice that one thing is out of place. About 20 feet away, you see a small reptilian type creature also passed out. I stand up slowly. Oh, I thought of my or <sighs> Right. I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna flip them on their back with my my hooved foot. Mm -hmm. Just snoring. <laughs> you you see you see a greenish light and and aqua kind of scaled creature that doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before. I'm gonna scan the woods a little bit. Okay. See if there's any other bodies around. Not that you can see, and just looking at this thing snoring, you can tell it's alive. I kind of nudge it slightly with my foot. Mm -hmm. uh, five, theropod, five you, more minutes. You, <laughs> you wake up as okay. you no longer see the crypt that you were just in, but a strange forest, which what? couldn't be more opposite than the terrain you were traversing. What the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, no, I, noticing I, the... I <laughs> down on their chest, just like in this place. You, you, you feel a giant hoof on your chest. Uh, uh, hi there. Name? Ray Cool. I, my friends call me Ray sometimes. I can't breathe. I am not your friend. Okay, Occupation. Then. Uh, <laughs> oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, what a question! Oh uh, god! <laughs> just a mile long. Uh. <laughs> uh, get a... ner ner nervous sweat, even though he's a reptile. Uh, depends who I'm working for. Mercenary. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, yes, mercenary. Lift my hoof off. <laughs> Stands up and like brushes himself off. Uh, 
Where the... Where... The Where woods. In my camp, apparently. Last thing I remember is a, d a derelict dungeon and um, you'll notice his eyes immediately, like his pupils like immediately squint down to pinpricks and he's like, that bitch. Excuse me? <sighs> there was this lady that killed my boyfriend. So you are chasing a murderer. Yep. <laughs> The second she fucked with me, she's lost the privilege to have a head. So... I don't know what she did to teleport me here, though. Huh. I must confess I am at a loss. And without the guidance of my captain, I am but wandering. But if there is a murderer on the loose... Then my destination is clear. Hmm. Sense of justice. I like that. I like that. I want to get even, and you got to right or wrong. I like that. Uh. How long have you been camping here? How long was it? Like you said, a week, Bosco. It's yeah. It's you've been traversing for like a week. So basically, every day you found a spot to camp. This just happens to be the latest spot that you put down a camp few days, but there has not been an end to this, and I kind of wave to the general area. Mm. Oh. I have not seen a garrison. I have not seen a village. I have not seen nothing. You are the first other person I have seen since the attack on the garrison of Brinchander. History check? Does that ring a bell at all? Go for it! Um, I will say, I think, I think Saurians have a thing for, like, knowing history. Or no, I just, I just get proficiency with it. So. Uh, that's for the Brontosaurus. Oh, what? But, oh. might as well have, might as well be a Brontosaurus. You, you so. gotta love where the character not from the realm knows about the world. It's just, ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I know this place. So hey, natural you, 20s can still fail. That's, yeah, yeah that's absolutely. Cool. So, you you have read books from travelers that have often been talked about as being crazy because it's impossible to transcend the reality that you're in but there are books that talk about a far off land called Faerun and the town that she described is one of the towns that you've read in these scrolls Ray, Ray cool chokes on his breath like <clears throat> you're from Faerun of course that's where we are right now what else would we be? Uh, with that natural 20, I will just give this to you. No the fuck you're not. Uh, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, especially because you you probably have like three feet on Raykul. You are oh, just yeah, massive. I'm you are massive. Big. Yeah, and he's a scrawny little raptor, dude. Uh, read a lot about Faerun. This ain't Faerun. I'm like marching, by the way, as this conversation's happening. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. We, we, we can, we can walk and talk. While you guys are moving, I need Mark and Zito to give me perception checks. Uh, but oh. I'm bad at those. Hooray! Oh. I'm good at those. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-two. Yay. Hey. You also, Mark, just so you know, you have disadvantage on skill checks because you're still poisoned. I know. Oh. Okay. Bear no news, then. That is a lie. I'm sure we'll um, be able to find the town nearby. Why, Akeda, you hear voices again coming through the bushes, like the shambling that you heard before. Uh, Zito, you hear a voice. Who's it sounds very deep and very strong coming from just on the other side of the clearing as you guys are still on that riverbank. I, I, turn, I turn to my new friend and I just, like, put my fingers to my lips and I go you hear do you hear other voices over there yes more interlopers I assume um, you'll want to check that out as as she like puts her hand on her short sword and just like tiptoes over like waiting for you to follow quietly 
there stealth are check. strange creatures stealth. about beyond stealth yourself. check guys uh and perception checks from monty and ray Ooh. 16. Uh, five <laughs> just throws up on the floor but yes let's go silent it. quietly <laughs> Uh, so Ray, Funny. as you as you are walking with this giant bull-like creature, you again, having already had to deal with this once today, here's something moving to your left. And as you turn your head, you all you can make out is almost like a skull in the bushes is the best way to describe it. And <laughs> which is all you see. However, Monty, you not only see that, but Who's you Monty? also see huh? Who's Monty? <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. Grim Harl. The whole you night. Are. The whole night. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm avoiding the names because I'm going to mess them up. Uh, Too bad. Oh, uh, God. Grim Harl, you see uh, the same skull that I described to Ray, but you also see a creature that you can't seem to identify, but the best way you can describe it is it looks like a fuzzy dragon type creature. You see two I... small little horns on its head. As it, it seems to be moving through the bushes, trying to be undetected, but you see it plain as day. Do they look as if like they're skulking about, like kind of eyeing us up? Yeah, based on your militia training, it absolutely looks like what a scout would be doing if it was trying to scout out an area. Okay, uh, I'm going to charge. See something? The, I'm going to charge the nearest person. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, let it me. Comes. So, Rachel's Mark, just like, hi, wait, Mark, what? high or low? <laughs> Low. Uh, who is? All right. Uh, well, no, I'm asking Mark, high or low. All right, it is low. You you charge the fuzzy looking dragon. Okay, I, I charge the since fuzzy I looking it dragon. Right, can I request that they charge me? Uh, if you would like, yeah, I will allow it. Yeah. All right, you're charging the skull. All right, I'm charging the skull. Just full right. on sprint and horns uh, down. I don't want to master... hurt. I don't want to gore, but I want to toss. That's fair. This you see a massive creature running towards you, Why Hakeda. Uh do I have a reaction? You do. Uh I am ooh, let's see if this works. I am going to uh, cast cause fear. Oh okay. Also, uh, Bosco, I, I kinda wanted to like just quickly like bring something up fast when I was in the bushes because Yeah, uh, what's up? My sub race have an ability called Mask of the Wild. You can attempt to hide even while you are lightly obscured in foliage. Oh, all right. So does that add like a bonus to your your hide or your stealth check? Yes. Uh, what would it have been if it? It uh, would have been advantage on hide. Uh, all right. So that would have been an advantage on the stealth check you rolled, right? It's Which would be 16. 16 it still, still would have been a 16. Oh, yeah, it still would have been. Absolutely. Right. I'm yeah. so sorry. I just, oh, my yeah, bad. No, you're good. No, 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 no. I'm That's glad I re Thank you for reminding advantage. me, though. I'll, I, I will remember that. Uh, so, all right. So, cause fear is a save of wisdom. Uh, what's okay. the DC, Mark? It is, uh, let me double check because I have weird stuff. I believe the DC on this one, I think this one's based on my intelligence. Oh, it's the same. So, it's 12. All right, okay. so go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw, DC 12. 12. Oh, oh my God. God. So oh, the, attacker, no. the, the attacker wins, so Mark, you succeed. Um, as you uh, charge this skull, uh, Waihakeda is going to stand to her full height uh, and hold her claws out as you hear uh, this sound emanate from behind the skull. <laughs> Not being used to something bigger than me, I'm gonna back the fuck up. <laughs> All right. What the fuck is this place? I am not uh, sure. You come, come. should not be here. And she's gonna step out of the bushes into the open. Calamity does the same. She's just like, okay, okay, listen, we're all not supposed to be here. We're all in the same boat. I turn and look at the person who's yelling. Uh, you you see what I described earlier? Now, plain as day, moving towards you. Uh. Uh, you uh, hey, are as you the four of you are kind of, as the four of you are kind of in this uh, this square like formation, two and two, uh, Copnos. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> as, as you are making your way through the woods towards the madam's encampment, 
you hear a commotion. It what can best be described as roaring and yelling and scared noises coming Bosco, from probably 60 feet away from you. Bosco, would you say that this is a kerfuffle? Yes, it is absolutely <laughs> defined as a kerfuffle. Okay, you just wanted to check. Roll so kerfuffle, you, please. Oh, <laughs> you know, fucking I'm squinting you. at you so fucking hard right now. <laughs> I had to get well. one in. I needed one. Uh. <laughs> well, these things are... Hmm. This doesn't sound like a fight, more like a kerfuffle. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go check it out. Hmm. Uh, as you begin to move forward, you hear the argument and see the creature's described earlier before you, a giant minotaur that seems to be backing away from a creature with a skull over its face and very pale looking skin, a uh, <laughs> what can best be described as a fuzzy dragon with two small horns on its head, uh, swishing its tail back and forth, trying to calm everybody down, and a very small lizard creature looking like it is not ready for any of this. And I'm, I've never can, seen half of these things before, You've never have seen I? any of these before. Can... can can Raykul, like, Unless you have miniatures where you're from, you've never seen any of these. I think we do in, in Theros. So you've probably seen it. You've at least seen Theros a whole, has like, Minotaurs. But so, that's, that is it. So, so nobody's really, like, attacking anybody else, right? No, it's nope. kind of okay. like a Mexican okay. standoff. I was just, yeah, okay. Calamity is right now holding her hands out in between everyone, like the fucking dude from Jurassic Park with the raptors. <laughs> yeah, Chris Pratt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, well, Calamity I'm, is Chris Pratt at this moment. So, Connor, I'm, you remember I'm hearing here, about so that works. Root. You remember hearing about the new blood, and uh, lo and behold, <laughs> on your way, on your way there, he starts laughing. He starts laughing. <laughs> ah, this must be my good fortune. Oh, this day's just getting I, weirder and weirder. I, uh, all I, of you I, turn I, to see a giant Leonin-type creature with a flowing brown mane that kind of gets darker at the tips, and in full armor, uh, kind of step forward with a spear in hand. Uh, but I not seem, looking hostile at all. Almost using I it like seem, a walking stick. I seem to have found exactly the people I've been looking for. Question. Would Go Bayakeda for it. have seen this person? Uh, give, mm, yeah, you know what? Give me a knowledge, just a straight int, or no, sorry, straight wisdom with advantage, though. Okay. Wouldn't that be evened 17. out because of poison? Uh, oh, it would be even now well, because of poison. So eleven. So eleven. So you Sorry. you have heard you have heard rumors of a vampire hunter from the small town of Barovia having befriended a creature similar to this description. Whether or not this is them, you have no idea. Are these part of the woods, part of the area that villagers are allowed to go in, as per yes. my agreement? Okay. Yes. Okay. Cool. Greetings. Uh, there seems to be a uh, misunderstanding going on. I think I may know why. Anything would be nice. What was that? We spoke at the same time. <laughs> Anything would be nice, I think they said. Uh, yeah, yeah. Calamity said any, any explanation would be nice. Hmm. Uh, well... Correct me if I am wrong, but you do not seem to be from around here. Yes? I'm the only fawn here. F fawn. So I, I squint at her. Uh, too hairy to be a satyr. Hmm. She's like that... stiff. She like, she stands up like fucking like full <laughs> at attention, folds her arms just like, you best have a good way to counter that before I get upset. You are not the satyr. I like that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> I'll he's, allow it. He, he, smi <laughs> he, he smiles. I aim to please, ma'am. Uh, you, Minotaur, possibly from Pharos, but maybe not. I do not know of which you speak, Tabaxi. <laughs> oh, shit. Are, 
That is super appropriate. <laughs> I love you, Monty. He, he just, he grins again. Mm. My good luck has blessed me indeed. And you, and he looks over to uh, Ray. Uh, while while he points to Ray, Ray's completely relaxed now, and he's got a Zippo, and he's trying to light a cigar. Okay, <laughs> so that oh, used... oh, oh, do you mind? No, I, I do not. Okay, good. Um... I was going to do it anyway if you did. And he just lights a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I take it you are not from around here as well. Nope. Yeah, never been here. Okay. Well, it seems we are all in the same boat because I am not from here either. Uh, but I do believe uh, I may have been here a bit longer than the rest of you. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is Capnos of the Emberman and welcome to Ravenloft. Uh, misspeak. These lands are near such a place, but they do not belong to Ravenloft. Hmm. I guess I haven't been here that long, then. Do I need to knowledge history for what that is, or...? I'm gonna let you know right now. You've read a lot of things, so go for it. <laughs> Man, and maybe it's like a Faerun thing. <laughs> 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 the rock must be a favorite thing. Raven Cal Loft. Cal so is it, like, so it, it sounds like a house for like birds. Yeah. Is, it, is, it, <laughs> is it like a cot? Is it a condo for Kanku? <laughs> uh, that is funny. Uh, no. What is a Kanku? <laughs> do do those hey. exist here? I don't know if I broke the rules. Uh, do they? I don't think they do. B Bosco? Hmm? We don't know. Have, have I have I ever seen a Kenku? Nope. Unless okay. Kenkus are, are in Kenku. whatever world you are from, then no. Re rewind that line. That didn't happen. <laughs> it's mm. Ravenloft. Huh. We'll just say yes. condo for birds. Sure, yeah. We know yeah. what a mundane bird is. Yeah, yeah, considering... yeah. So we are on the land of some lord or something. Supposedly, it is a bit uh, more complicated than that at the current moment, but essentially. And what are they doing here? I must return to my post. Hmm. That is uh, my goal as well. I aim to return to my homeland. I have been trying for quite a while, and I have had... Uh, Minimal luck, but uh, I have been informed uh, of your presence here, and I may be able to find us all a solution. If you wish to come back home, I suggest you follow me, and we will go see Lady Eva. Does that Ooh. name mean anything to me? Uh, anybody who was in Ray, so basically everybody but Ray, sorry. <laughs> Uh, or no. actually, no. Everybody but Ray or Calamity may roll a history check. Don't fail me Including... now. Roll twenty. Yeah, you can roll it. You're, Fuck. you're, I, we'll see <laughs> what happens. Sorry, uh, I'm rolling history check. You said. Uh, yeah, history check. Seven. <laughs> and that was that was that was mistress. Hey, Monty, you remember <laughs> what it's like to roll over ten? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, none of you have ever heard this name before. Was it was it Lady or Mistress Eva? Uh, Madam. It's Madam, Madam Eva. I got that wrong. I never wrote it down. I have corrected that. Uh, Madam Eva. Why why had Kata give me another history check, but this time with advantage? When you hear the name. Uh, Madam. Yeah, because I I corrected <laughs> <my> eighteen. <laughs> uh, Thank all God right. for Fuck. advantage. Yeah. Um. So you have heard. Uh. There are people that roam these lands called the Vistani. You understand that this is a half Vistani. Oh, what? Go ahead. What did I say? Go ahead. What did I say? Going. Sure. Keep going. Uh, Keep going. You, you, have, you have heard stories of a fortune teller of that heritage that many travelers have talked to uh, to hopefully get some insight into their fortune, particularly those new to the area. 
Does do the stories typically describe this person as trustworthy? They describe her as very neutral. She basically just mm. describes what she sees and doesn't seem to lean one way or the other. Mm. Okay. Cool. Yep. Cool. <laughs> That's all. That's all, yeah. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so yeah, you you would have you would have heard of this name and you know it's legit. Mm. Then let us find this person, quickly. These woods have become unfriendly as of late. Hmm. Are we all in agreement then that following me and not killing each other is the best way? Uh. Ah. Ah. Uh. I just got here, so you know what? Um, you're the first. You're the first step in the right direction. So, we'll lead the way. Sorry, but I uh, will agree for now. Cloudy oh. just puts her hands on her hips, looks at the entire forest, and just shrugs. I will take that as a yes. So. As I have stated, I am Kapnos of the Embermane. Uh, and what about the rest of you? You can call me Calamity as she, like, scratches the inside of her ear. Hmm. Calamity. It's sort of poker faces. <laughs> uh, you... He, he puffs in the cigar. You can call me Ray Cool. Ray Cool Roar Runner. Is that tobacco? Uh, yeah. He, he uh, uh, he pulls out a case and he actually pulls out a cigar and he's like, eh, good faith. Here, you're leading me the way. This is, he, he hands you a cigar. Uh, he'll, he'll bite, terrible. he'll bite he the end off coming of out it. of his mane. I think he probably smokes. He, he, he also passes you the Zippo if, or, I don't know if Zippo's are. He, he looks at it. Um. <laughs> oh, Calamity gets un unrealistically close to observe, and she's just like with <laughs> awe in her eye, like, ooh. He he looks at it with the cigar hanging out of his mouth. Uh, he'll he'll not like light it in her face, but he'll kind of like just bring the Zippo back a little bit, a safe distance, and light it in front of Calamity, just like see, yeah. Her her fucking eyes go wide and her ears satellite up. She's like, oh, man. Huh. <laughs> and then he... I'll, he... I'll light the cigar. It's, a, uh, It's part of my business. I like to, um... Mm. Transport. Tra Tobacco. Transport this stuff. Tobacco Did you not trader. tell me that you were a mercenary? A mercenary, but you know, I do other stuff for money. It's a it's a side hustle to transport tobacco, a hundred percent legally, over any borders that they shouldn't go across. Oh. Insight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. hey, Connor, go you were doing go, so go, well go, until go you let him talk. I, I, I'm just gonna give it to you. He is so full of shit. <laughs> you just see his uh, calamity just like like gets dangerously like uncool like personal space breaking just with a giant shit-eating grin as he says that uh can i insight that as well <laughs> go for it absolutely welcome to natural i am an upstanding <laughs> citizen people may not fully understand how important it is that, that is you extremely important you must even yeah. about to kill somebody oh <laughs> my god i turn towards ray and i go good Continue to be an upstanding citizen. <laughs> Calamity just whispers. Calamity whispers to him. No, you're not. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I that is it. amazing. I, I love extra, it so much. An extra legal tobacco trader. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, it is. It is no business of mine. 
Uh, and no, what about you? The, um... Hmm. I have seen a few of your kind from my homeland. Is this aimed at, uh, Calamity? Uh, at, this is aimed at, um, Grimharl. Ah. I'm, like, kind of shoving foliage out of the way. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I don't like being here. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of turn and snort. So we are both from Feyran then, Tabaxi. Feyran? Um... <laughs> Allow me to correct you, madam. Uh, no, I am not from Feyran. I am from Theros. Uh, particularly the region of Oreskos, the golden fields of my homeland. This information and is wasted on me. I figured there's much. And furthermore, I am no tabaxi. I am uh, of the proud Leonin. Kind of narrow my eyes at that. This place is weird. I am Corporal Grim Harl of Bryn Shander. Corporal? Uh, that means you are a military woman, yes? Mm, somewhat. Mostly garrison mm. and guard work. Night watch, that sort of thing. It is respectable work. I'm sure the people of your world thank you for your service. I would too, but clearly, I am not of your world. I am one who carries law on my shoulders, in my mace. And I will execute where necessary, where lawlessness lies. Ray Cool sweats even more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. Sweats oh. and extra legal. Mm. No, no, Calamity says that out loud. Mm. Uh. I turn towards Calamity. I am not here to have fun. I have my duties and my work, and they need my attention. So quickly, Leo 9, lead us. You can call me Capnos. Just Capnos is fine. Um, I'm going to da, 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 da. have. Have I ever seen any maps of our general area? Ah, uh, you have. Great. I uh, am a wanderer. Uh, I have a wanderer feat from my. Uh, not not a. Yeah, I have the wanderer feature from my Outlander background. I have an excellent Ooh. memory for maps and geography. I can always recall the general layout of terrain, settlements, and other features around me. Mm -hmm. I so we I have similar backgrounds. I'm a pretty wanderer control. myself. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Woo! Uh, uh, so yeah, yeah, I won't even make you make a check. Yeah. Uh, are you leading the way towards the encampment? Yes. Excellent. So as all of our new companions saddle up and attempt to be civil with each other you travel for quite some time together uh a lot of awkward silence and some very interesting conversation uh erupts however you eventually make your way to a large encampment you see numerous wagons in a circle and a a rather large tent as there seems to be various villagers milling about and as you gaze towards the tent all of the heads in the camp begin to turn towards you, and that is where we'll end tonight's session. Nice. Oh, great. Hey. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey. Well, goodbye, Austin. Everybody's Bye, happy Austin. to see us. Yay. Yay. Bye, Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. Uh, I, so, I, just, hit, I just hit the red button. Uh, you want to hit stop, so uh, the, the square. OK. And then you want to save immediately. So file, save project <laughs> as, and just do your character name. And the okay. game. So Ravenloft, and then Ray, and then the number. I didn't know if you were um, actually going to be cool if I ended up saying, like, Calamity was from Golfmir. Okay, it says, I would have rolled it. is for an Audacity project, not an audio file for an audio Save file. it as an Audacity project, you and then you're going to want to export it. it. Yeah. So save it first, so you don't lose it. Okay, okay, okay. And then, yeah, and then export it afterwards. That was fun, Bosco. That was really interesting. Bosco, that know, was I awesome. Did. I apologize that it ran a little long, but we started a little bit late. Not I didn't want to fine. Yeah, we did. I'm good okay. with it. I mean, it's session one. Yeah. 
Not yeah. to throw him under the bus, but we don't have a guy here who needs to sleep early. <laughs> so That's true. I, I, get away with for, the viewer, for the viewers at home, I know Shadow Wars sometimes went over four hours, so I was trying to keep it shorter. I'm sorry, so what, what do I name the file? Uh, so name it like Ravenloft, and then your character name, and then one. Okay. Also, oops, I killed a child. Oops, you killed the child. I am so... I, I I'm like, oh, Monty, this I'm got dark work. really quickly. Monty, I, 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 it, I it suits my flaw so well, it did. though. It yeah, did. It so when I when I built that scenario, I basically went, I want to see what Monty's commitment to her flaw is. There were yeah. other ways to handle that, but if you want my personal thing, you handle that exactly how I thought you were going to handle it, and that's a good thing. Yeah. Now that the party's here, my flaw's going to kick in full fucking swing. Yep. Oh, God. I am a little I was sad. so glad you threw the mace. I, I'm a little sad yeah. that, uh, 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 what the frick is Connor's character's name? Cop Nose. Cop Nose. I'm a little sad that Cop Nose didn't question who Y Hakeda was. Yeah, that was something you, I you noticed. You asked it of everybody else and not of her, which makes her sus. Like it also, sucks. it would have been really interesting because <laughs> Cop knows having been there for a long time would have been he the might have only known. person that had a chance of knowing about yeah. you, like you did with him. He, you might have known who she was. Yeah, because oh, you oh, honestly, oh, it's really so. It's really interesting to give you guys. And I won't keep people up too long, but real quick, basically everybody's been in Ravenloft for various amounts of time, ranging from Cop knows and Wahikeda, who have been there for quite some time, to Ray and Calamity, who literally showed up the <laughs> day this all went down, and then Monty somewhere in the middle. So it. I wanted to give a nice mix, and I felt like it would bring the party together. I'm really glad you didn't kill each other, because I was super yeah. nervous. I'm so glad, I'm so glad, so glad you now won that insight. And that Wait too, for it. That was like back-to-back, -back, two moments where we might have had real big problems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I legit, like, I was scared when I made my character. I'm like, oh, no, my character is going to be such oh, a no. dick. Well, if, how, oh, do you feel any better, better, I hope? It's going to be perfect. I do. I do, I do feel awesome. a lot better. Awesome. Um, it's like, it's Money. like I legitimately, like, this is what, like, to give you an idea, like Oz, who is my one of my favorite characters to play, like the moment you would start smoking, he'd be like, no, that's bad for you. Like, that's him. That's what he would do. <laughs> Meanwhile, this character's like, I don't give a shit as long as you're not doing anything, like, actually illegal. And whereas Oz would be like, well, I'm going to teach you right from wrong, this character's be like, I'm taking you to fucking jail. <laughs> like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, oh, you're going to have a fucking I gotta bad be time. a good boy. It oh, was, you're going to have a really bad time with Calamity then. I, I gotta say, guys, it was really interesting watching you all do your individual things because this is not where we were supposed to stop. I loved how like into it you guys were. Yeah. It was. Dude, I felt like such a badass on that bridge, even though I can't. Right? Stop. Wasn't it? You just tossing people. That was so cool. I'm not gonna lie. I was a I bit jealous of both you and Connor because both of you like handled your encounters like badasses. Yeah. And I was like, well, I nearly oh, died. No scary trees. <laughs> run away. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> and to be or, fair, and you're or smart. got bitten by a vampire. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you, yeah. yeah, dude, I was so when I rolled that, I'm like, oh, he's gonna hate me when I describe this because it's like, oh, I failed. Oh, I passed. All of us were just like, <laughs> ooh, and she pulls back hair. <sighs> Connor, Connor, <laughs> massive. Yes. so lucky, dude. Yeah, if yeah. she would have bit you, and it would have, if you die after that they bite you, it's that not that a good time. That probably would have downed. Yeah, that probably would have downed me. What were we? Can you have you healed yourself yet? Because I don't want to ruin the game for anybody. Would you have gone down with a hit? Um. Well, the bite does a lot of damage, right? It does. You you could have it's taken like up two, to three d six. Three d six, and it was oh, it's all necrotic damage too, right? Uh two d six. So what? Two two d sixes. Yeah, two d six no, necrotic wouldn't... and one d six piercing. Oh, okay. So just you fought seven of these. Hypothetically, yeah. <laughs> hypothetically, <laughs> let's let's just see if that would have killed me. It wouldn't have. Oh. I mean, it's it's, um, it's luck of the draw, honestly. So, so yeah, honestly, context, cause that means you were close though. For context, too, in in the party I was in when we fought all the vampire spawn, everyone was different levels for the most part because we had people who came in later and the way that adventures League was now Connor. Worked. Yeah. Actually, actually, it it would have been a one in eighteen chance if she would have killed me or not. Actually, well, let me ask you a question because it's I also exactly on the first. Piece. If you add it, if it's uh, eighteen, does that get you? If it's eighteen, yeah, that downs me. <laughs> so you would have died because she had plus. Well, I would have died. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that would have that would have been the role. You were dead. <sighs> and not only were you well, dead, you would have come back as a spawn. You would have yeah. been just like her. Oh yeah. That would have been delicious on session one. Death. So clutch. For real. 
I'm gonna put my notes away. A good little drawing. Yeah, put your notes away. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's go around the let's go around the horn real quick because I don't want to keep you guys up too long. I appreciate it. Uh, Zito, go. Oh God, hi. Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, uh, the Ever Get Almanac on Patreon. We'll play lots of spooky indie games coming up very soon. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just post in the chat the link to the race I just played. Yeah. Yay! It's the fun. Yeah. Everyone. That interaction was with like you're not a you're not a, a satyr. I'm sorry. What was what? that? That was so <laughs> you're good. You're not a satyr. That You're not a satyr. Oh, all right, fair. So Come bad. again? Dude, I, I you are Calamity's not a fucking airhead, unfortunately. <laughs> so funny. Calamity is such a fucking airhead. Oh, it's so good. Uh, My character's a smooth brain, too, so do not yeah. worry. So you you can find the fawn on DM's Guild. A lot of people thought it was going to be a bath of it. I'm like, I did consider that, but I thought that would be a little too much. <laughs> Like, a, that's a little too on the nose. Uh, I mean, fuck, who the hell knows for my, uh, my, uh, backup character if Calamity bites it. Uh, so, you can find me over at the, all the channels I described where indie games happen, art happens, I've been doing nothing but being fucking productive and just drawing at ungodly hours so everyone at, like, 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock, whenever regular humans get up, they can see it. Uh... I gotta do commissions uh, before the month ends out, so that'll be a stream. Uh, we got carts because why not? Custom, it, it's Mario Kart made in Doom. Why not? It, it's it's a fun time. And spooky games. Uh, the we're I'm probably gonna start off with Golden Light, and tomorrow, uh, me and my wife are gonna pick up uh, Seven Days to Die and uh, start a server. Hmm. Very, very nice. Uh, Mr. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, A E O N Pro Tech Gaming. Um, don't have anything necessarily exciting uh, in the upcoming week. I'm sort of, we're iffy on my Monday group, but uh, in case you're curious, check out Nut House. That's G N U T H A U S. We may or may not be streaming on Monday. It's kind of up in the air right now, but I will be back on Wednesday for the Unexpectables. And I will yeah. just say, Woo. no one yet knows exactly what my class or race is. So I'm excited to see how long I can keep that up. And you'll see everybody next week. Your race has me very, very, very interested. And very I, I really, I'm so, too, I'm too much in love with this character. Let me put it to you that way. <laughs> this is how it happens, because everything's so intense, you fall in love. And that's yep. totally fine. Yep. And I didn't die in the first episode or in the first five minutes. So new record. How many cool. people lost know. bets? I wonder. Yeah, there were no oh, yeah. Adam lost bets. Sorry to everybody who lost <laughs> money on that one. Sorry. Yeah. I can't. I was actually. I'm like, oh, nobody's gonna die session one. I didn't write very hard encounters. Oh wait. First encounter. I remember. <laughs> You're gonna I just be remember. Snoop. I can't I remember, believe I crit you. I remember level one baby Bulith first fight twelve damage. I had to use my stones endurance to reduce it because it would have instantly killed me. That's why I had to run. I was like, nah, fam, it's too close for comfort. I'm not oh, losing man. her this early. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's fair. Um, all right, continuing around the, uh, the around the horn, Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow, Final Fantasy IX. Come if you hey. want some fantasy, if you want to see a character who's also extremely lawful and his name is Steiner, uh, definitely come and check that out. It's really, really fun. We're at probably one of the coolest parts of the game right now um my favorite cutscene is coming up secretively or at least the cutscene that made me super into final fantasy is coming up very soon so um all the parts are up on youtube so if you want to catch up they're all there um i'm voice acting all the characters it's been a joy um and then on thursday uh should be devil may cry 4 um also <laughs> throughout the week and maybe even the month depending on how i feel i'm probably gonna stream a bit more like kind of spontaneously just so i can play video games and enjoy myself and all that fun jazz so yeah hey all right and uh hey hey connor are you typing yeah. uh no oh no, somebody's me. typing well sorry, you should you should, sorry. you should tell people where they can find you like if i'm on twitter and twitch at distortion devil or i stream tuesdays friday saturdays and sundays um, 
Be sure to check out uh, twitch.tv slash deadhouse sonata, D E A D H A U S sonata, on the 30th because I'll be there uh, as a guest uh, star host. Uh, when they reveal their new, um, the new key visuals for, um, Dead House Sonata, the action-adventure, uh, game where you play as the dead to fight the living. Um, uh, and the new key visuals are, oddly enough, a bit, uh, a bit Ravenloft-esque. So if you liked, uh, the whole setting and feel of this, then you will love, uh, the new visuals for Dead House Sonata. So be sure to check that out. Also, we've hit our goal for uh, subs for this yeah. month. Two, 220. Yeah. That means we're going to be giving away 15 Founders Packs for Dead House Sonata as well. Uh, probably on my channel, I think. I'm not sure if we're doing the giveaway there as well. I'll have to, tech, I'll have to talk with people. But yeah, uh, that's me. Very nice. Hey, uh, hey, Thero. Hey, hello. How, how'd, how'd you enjoy your your time? Yeah, that's your first uh, one. I I I like being a slimy sleaze bag. Isn't I, it great? I, I, <laughs> this is this is way outside of my comfort zone, but I think I'm just going. I um, I love it. It was great, and I love the net one, and I love the cigars. Mm -hmm. It's a very nice. Touch. Where can yeah. everybody find you? Yeah, you can find me at Twitter, uh, Theropod underscore Art. You can find me on Twitch at just Theropod Art, just one word. And on stream, that's where I just do art and talk to people and do reactions to your guys' show. Um, and on Twitter, I just post art and post about eating cheese at 3 a.m., which might happen tonight. I don't know. There's some cheddar down in the fridge that... Are you sure your stomach can handle it after all that? It uh, you me. underestimate my power. <laughs> I mm -hmm. think clearly. Good grief. You I, dare question cheese, Lord? I, also, hey, Connor, you should tell everybody what's happening in October. Oh, yeah. Right. That's, yeah. Uh, Orktober is uh, yeah, happening boy. again. Uh, it's going to be Edward Bosco as Gronk, the yep. uh, Orc Commando, Gaijin Goomba as Cortag, the Pain Boy, Takahata 101 as ah, the Weird Boy. And our very own Crisito as uh, Pieces, the mech boy, as well as oh, yeah. uh, Monty Glue will be joining us as <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 No I, way! I legit just had like a mini stroke where I was like, wait, did he <laughs> play the sound or did it, my brain just like... <laughs> real or did he make the sound with his voice? I was very confused. <laughs> oh, oh, he's like a Kenku, he just mimics the sound back at you. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, Bonnie, I didn't know your character was also called Swear Word. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. That's fuck. nuts. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> their name that's is not that. Work. That is a lie. Their their wow. name is not that. Their name is very orky and very cool, and you're gonna like you're gonna like him a lot. It's Mork it, Blue, obviously. Oh it's, my god! I should have made it that. It's gonna, <laughs> gonna be great. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be very, great. Very good. Yeah. I'm super excited. So you'll get to I'm see Connor and I. Ooh, Dude, good. I'm so excited because Citra King's doing art of that character. Yeah. <laughs> Monty's a player all October long, and Connor and I mm -hmm. get to torture her and the rest of the boys. Here's what's funny. Connor gets to mess with me on Wednesdays, and I get to mess with him on Saturdays, so we're going to see what happens. It's gonna be and I just get to have fun. <laughs> it's yeah. true. High five, Zito. Zito. High five. <laughs> oh my which, God. One will die, which one of us will die first? Place your bets, folks. I, I was going to say, who has the first your, PC dead? Place your bets, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Ravenloft? Who knows? I feel like I have a better chance. I'll take that bet. Probably. Probably. Yeah. You guys are fucking anyway, okay. So that, that does it for us here tonight. Connor, do you want to read out some bits and some subs before we hit the road? Absolutely. Where did I leave off? Um, That's a great. I don't know. It didn't reset. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? Wow. All right. So, uh, ta -ta -ta. I'm scrolling down. Uh, to, I do have everything uh, saved up. Do I need to export it? Too? Well, we'll deal with that whenever we're done the stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. I haven't uh, touched the thing. Code name Chaz, uh, resub for six months. Ah, this setting one can sink their teeth into. Mm. <laughs> Mizu, Mizu, ah. Ah. Thank you for resubbing for five months in a row. Excited to see how this goes. Uh, Neotara Kuma, good luck. I believe in you. Thank you for the six months of subscribing. Jade Vex State, thank you for the four months. Hello, I hope you all guys have a good night. I will be listening 
And so, good luck, and I hope you all stay safe. The White Fox Sup, thank you for the six months. And Icy Briz, thank you for the six months as well. Half a year of awesomeness. 300 Shadows, thank you for uh, subscribing with Twitch Prime for six months. Warlord Taco, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. JNP, thank you for the six months. Uh, woo! Uh, the Friendly Grim, thank you for gifting 50 tier one subs to the community. Woo! Good wow. lord. Whoa. Wow, indeed. Uh, Thank, is you that good good Adam. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Classy. Paladin hey. Bubbles. Thank you for resubbing with Twitch Prime for six months. Loving this so far. And Anonymous Cheer gave us 100 bits. Thank you, Anonymous Cheer. Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Bosco, me, Zacco, Bob, Grizz, and Citric had a pool going for the first death with a TPK and an O. I feel like we already read that. We, yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. who are they betting on? Who are they betting on to die Me, first? Connor, and Mark. Connor and Mark? Because mm. somebody said they had, like, it was 25, it was 30 to 1 on Mark, and I think Grizzly Adams almost won the pot, but he he survived. All right, let's see. Um... Where where did the, we end off here? So sad. Uh, Mr. Me dying. <laughs> Mr. Inktail, thank you for the 100 bits. My quote about Ravenloft, you cradle your sanity like a babe. So fragile, so innocent. For that, you will die slowly. When cast off the chains of logic and leave sanity to die, you can face the darkness with blade in hand. I did not come for logic or sanity. I came for blood. Holy shit. Thank you for the 100 bits, Mr. Inktail. Zanellis, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Mark survived a turn. <laughs> Leave me alone, Zanny! Oh, oh. Let Assassin, me be! One, two, three. <laughs> thank you for the six months. Uh, Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for resubscribing for uh, six months with Twitch Prime. The dark powers are calling. Volk551, thank you for the five bits. Uh, Monty not playing a Warforged or a Goliath. What kind of nightmare is this? <laughs> no, I... For context, I actually had this character concept in mind for a Ravnica event at my local game shop, and then it, I could only play as a pre-made character, so I couldn't play this character. Uh, and I, as I was thinking my character, I had this this realization. I'm like, oh, I can make this character, and so I did. I set them in Run though, because I know Run a bit better than other settings. So. Uh, Demon Chicken of Doom. Thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, yes, please, to a six-hour game. Also, what is sleep to someone who works 70 hours a week? <laughs> what? Oof. Where's the lie, though? I feel that. Viridian Windsor, thank you for the 500 bits. Lizard people are the best people. Hey, yeah. Joe Cat, rated with a party of 230. Woo! Whoa! Yeah, thanks, um... Joe. Joseph Catterson, you son of a bitch. <laughs> His recent video made me sad. <laughs> Daver boy, thank you for the 100 bits. When you're the DM, you can make all the Mad Jack references you want. <laughs> Chub Toad, thank you for the uh, four months of subscribing. <laughs> Wait, what was that name? Chub, Chub Toad. Toad. That is Fuck from yeah. something. That is from something. What is that from? Chub Toad. <laughs> That's Mr. good. Mr. Turtle. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Omen the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the 2,000 bits. The Barovian standoff leads to comedy. Classic Bosco. <laughs> Algrian Ep, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime for six months. Thanks to the hours of entertainment during Knock Shift. Zach, I do thank you for getting a tier one sub to Kid Killer. And Burnout Vaughn, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Dead Kid. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh, oh. oh no. <laughs> Monty, I can't believe you killed a kid. Oh, Leave no. Monty alone. Boss, you killed this a child. Is Amazing. Mission complete. That's this why is you're, why the, you're the best. I mean, oh imagine if somebody god. did that to Log. What would you think? Oh, no. Imagine if we oh. did that to two Lord. Toad NPCs before they Lord even got their names old. out. 20 bold, of, bold of you to assume that Log even can die. Oh. I'm Log just saying, it's something cute and adorable. adorable. Log, Log just catches Log the hammer. hammer. <laughs> <laughs> it cuts the head off, and you can see it talking on the floor. That was <laughs> fun! You fool! <laughs> now you've only made me stronger! <laughs> you just sealed your fate! <laughs> your blood is my oil! <laughs> Ragnarok, where Helen right. just crushes the hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna die! 
skirt. <laughs> oh, is that, is that how, a couple more? Oh no! Is that how violent tag should be? It's my turn. Oh, oh no! no. Oh, hey, no. I'm a ninja. Thank you for the 100 bits. Last joke, I promise. Hopefully, this one is better. What do you get when you drop a piano down a mine shaft? A flat miner. Hey, oh, nice. Improved. <laughs> okay, I, okay, miner. you get a plus two on that one. Hey, Jason Aloha, thank you for the 100 bits. Gonna have to wait until Levad to find out about Monty killing a child. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 dude. Body, this 100. is your legacy now at the store. Oh, oh my god, always. This. I feel bad. Thank okay. you for the 100 bits, Burnout Vaughn. So we're going to have to adjust the betting pool a lot for next week. No deaths yet, <laughs> but we're in the meat grinder. That's fun. Uh, Dr. Caliban, thank you for the 100 bits. Well done. 10 goth points. Woo! I'll take it. <laughs> goth points. Mr. Inktail, thank you for the 100 bits. What should this campaign group be called? The Expendables or the Unfortunates? I think we're just going to well, call it Ravenloft. I think, yeah. Well, the, you know what idea Raven, huh? Raven something um, yeah. Well, yeah. the Expendables is an actual thing. That's yeah, copyrighted. we can't call it that. That's a movie. That's, that's what the Unexpectables is named after, I believe. Can I, can I yeah. be Dolph Lundgren? Gosh darn it! I think I think Bosco had an idea. What was as long as I did. I so, so here's, the, here's the funny thing. 